Hey, everybody. You want to hear from Sandrine? Mm. You want to get the ins and outs on the, the, the traps we've got laid for RPP and RDR for our survival video coming up? You got to go to the Patreon pod. It's linked down below. Subscribe. Come on. Yeah, and you see Fez fight RDR the other day. That was great, too. It's wild on there, man. Yeah. Rat Dick is, mm -hmm. based on his live stream yesterday, Leo, I think he's the new G.G. Allen. Yeah. You know G.G. Allen? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, like, didn't he, like, taste some some feces on stage? Yeah, he, you know, he actually looked a lot like RDR. Just a, a KKK-looking, flabby-bodied, pale white man from Los Angeles who, you know... Was a was a raging drug addict. It would get on stage, poop in his hand, and throw it at the audience or eat it. And people expected this kind of activity from him. They would walk out if he didn't at least cut himself at one point during the show. I hope I hope RDR doesn't get into cutting. You know what I mean? We are watching his live stream right now. He's got another one up. There was one yesterday that was problematic for a number of reasons, but now yeah. we have he. There's so much to say here, Leo. Yeah. We decided that just until we could digest the live stream, a lot of accusations were leveled against RDR sure. about what he was doing. At one point, unequivocally, he was wearing a rat helmet <laughs> while holding a dog, masturbating furiously on live stream. What do you well, think? children are watching. Maybe. Maybe. That Allegedly. was not. That was what I was told. Uh, this. So it was chat roulette or omegle or something One of those. people were filtering in it wasn't as if he walked into a kindergarten classroom and said you want to see the rat dick right so we want to give him the benefit of the doubt i, I personally wish he was here man in the the queen rpp but well I if you don't know canceled, yeah, we must introduce I don't our agree guest with cancel this, culture Sorry. this is mike and uh if you don't remember mike was involved in a threesome slash foursome ish I thought there was like six or seven jesus pieces. so basically <laughs> yeah it was a foursome a foursome with <laughs> rpp and a couple fans my older brother and yep, his older brother up. that's right <laughs> i didn't see his dick don't don't worry it was, I was you looking know, forward to I'm RPP. I'm sure it was out, but yeah. I was looking forward to the to the the, the meeting of you and RPP. I'm not going to lie; that was what I, I wanted to set up my job as producer. I set that up, but of course, RDR he ruined it. He ruined it with his fear of success. And you can see the fear of success right on his live stream right now because he he does have mustard all over his face. Austin, like, can the audience see this? They can now, dude. It's really hard for me to look away from this dude. It's very disturbing. Uh, he's got a gift for live streaming. Oh, is he naked? Oh, I thought he was <laughs> naked. No, Thank he's God, got the mankini on. I mean, he's he's really. It is impossible to not look at this live stream. RDR, for just the people who are listening, he's parading around his filthy apartment, the dogs are loose, and he's slathered in various condiments, and now he's going to... He's borderline revealing his penis while using his mankini to open a soda. And now he's Fanta, drinking the soda. Or oh, a Tampico, a Tampico. Orange Tampico. Oh, my... I am just... So this weekend... I, I wake up, my phone was basically off all Sunday. I wake up this morning, do some work, turn my phone on around noon, and I just get a torrent of text messages hmm. from you, mm -hmm. from Austin, from Saltine, from RDR, everybody pleading their case. Mm -hmm. RDR desperately downplaying that he did anything wrong. Of course. Even though he got on a major social media platform and masturbated. Right. I mean, yeah. What is the argument there? Right? How could you call, how could you look at me? How could it kind of on the phone today? He is just pleading his case. Like I didn't do anything, man. I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything, man. Yeah, he will. When my oh, God, my dad gross. on the Patreon podcast, which you guys should check out, we called my dad to seek legal advice for RDR while RDR was here about if RDR should, you know, turn himself into the probation department, stop being a fugitive. And my dad told me that, like, hey, man, you should, Danny, you should be careful about even being around RDR just based on the legal implications. <laughs> and RDR hits me up the next day. He's like, dude, your dad doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you got to keep hanging out with me. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Which I'm going to keep hanging out with Rat Dick, but I just I love that he tells me that his dad, my dad doesn't know the law. Yeah, no, no, I know he is. Uh, he lives in his own fantasy world and. But hey, look, he's got a talent for live streaming. I mean, if you were looking for entertainment, I mean, I mean, if, if you're going to watch a guy live stream, do you want this guy to put on a, a you know, a, a, an animal head and jerk off? Probably. 
you know, <laughs> with a dog in his arm. Yeah, with a dog. I mean, that's I mean, that's kind of what you want if you're watching a live stream. I mean, think about it. I mean, what what else can a person do in their house? I mean, can he is he a, can he does he have the talent to be a single podcaster that just engages people for hours on his on his? You know, I don't think so. Why does that matter though? If he can do this. You know, I'll tell you guys something. I don't know if you heard about this kid. He was a teenager in Lancaster, mm -hmm. and he was arrested by the marshals because he was swatting like over a thousand people. And some like, I heard about that guy. It's like, I wish he was still out. And I, you know, I don't wish ill will on anyone, but mm -hmm. I'm, how amazing would that be if he just got swatted right now? I mean, you know, yeah. I don't think swatting is cool, but but you gotta, you know, oh, rat getting the, swatted just, would be the most like, that unbelievable. Would be content, you know, that, that would, would be the most unbelievable thing of all time. Dude. I think he runs out. Dude, is I just uh, Rat Pussy Pam is there, dude. Yeah. What is Rat Tick on? Should we call him right well, now? See what he's on. Rat yeah, Pussy was there. Call. Rat Pussy was there earlier, but she got so mad at Rat Dick, she stormed out of the house and then poured his bottle of Malibu down the sink and then left. Was that when he was masturbating yesterday? No, this was like maybe thirty minutes ago. Uh, look, we're gonna call him up. Can we get him? We should probably get him on the system. You want to get him on? Yeah, the system? absolutely. See so if he even seen, answers. He was uh He smoked. Hey, Leo, up. I'm on. I can't talk for very long. You're on stream. You can't talk for very long. Yeah, yeah, no, we know you're on stream, buddy. <laughs> hey, I can't, I can't talk for very long. <laughs> buddy, uh, you, you got a little something on your face. I don't know. <laughs> you got a little something on your face, kid. Um, do you think you've been maybe going a little too hard recently on the streams? I can't talk. Okay, yes. I'm on stream right now. I know you can't tell. What do you mean? You've been erratic. You ate feces on your stream. You can't. You tell me you can't talk to me on the stream Did right now. Did he do that? He might have. Allegedly, he ate feces on the stream. He is Gigi Allen. He is, buddy. What's going on with you, man? Is it because of the BBC? <laughs> did the yeah, BBC just? Did the BBC feces. crawl into your head like a parasite? How much I'm real? I'm on stream right now, Leo. I get it, buddy. We saw the mustard all over your face, bro. You opened a Tampico with your goddamn mankini. We saw that. Mm -hmm. We did see that. Uh, Rattic, what's going on, man? Why are you doing this again? Leo, I can't talk right now. I'm on a stream. There's I don't care if you're on the stream. Nobody's giving you any money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing all this shit for free, bro. What's wrong with you? You could have at least asked for a few bucks. Damn, Leo. Bullshit. You pushed him. Leo's fired up right now. I am. Now. I've been, dude, I'm pissed off, man. I had, we had crazy shit planned. Let's see what he says. Can we listen to the audio? I can't hear it in my headphones, Osti. Mm. I think it needs to go to Target like this. Um, I, just, you, I hung up. Get off screen, dude. You're not making shit. Do you want me to, should I call him oh, back? Oh, hell yeah. R RPP, let's go. She's should not I call him you. back? One second, Mike. I'm eating dinner at Pussy Pam. Yeah, but you're not making <laughs> shit, dude. They said they pay. Are you guys paying me money? No, they're not. They're not. So is that, so that going to cash up 50 just to prove her wrong? I don't care. They're not going to. 50 dollars. Oh. Somebody said hit her in the chat. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> hey, should I hang <laughs> Oh, you enjoy it, dude. Look at one of the fans in the chat right here, dude. Danny Mullen, fan of the chat. This is unbelievable, dude. Rat Pussy's trying to stop I the stream. Shower. I know. It's like it's like an insight into their life. We're just I watching just a fight. It. Why? It's like we're one of the pugs. I have 60 followers. 60, no. 60 people in here. Just check my cash app. Check my check my cash app, Rat Pussy fan, please. <laughs> he can't even check it on his own phone. God, with the meat, dude. I can't watch. Oh, this is so gross. It's time to go shower. This guy is... Rest is for you, Rat Pussy fan. You understand? <laughs> This is what a BBC does to a man, dude, I think. That, there's a moral here, Leo. Yeah, there is a moral here. <sighs> Why is she ruining content? Uh, Leo and Danny. Should I call back Leo and Danny? Yeah, dude. You should. <laughs> should I call Leo and Danny back? You should, dude. You absolutely should. I miss. I miss. Call them back? What do I do? How, is call he them? hammered? Do I, I think he's call them? <laughs> Where are you going? Hammered, uh, Don't leave. Oh, RPP's out the door. Fuck. Well, how far do you think she are you leaving get, me? Mike? Dave, before, don't leave. Know. Leave my phone charger. This is. Where are you going? This might be the end of the relationship Space. we're watching. I think so. Oh, man. come on, Rat Dick. Don't cut us out now. This is BS. This is. I'm sorry, people. This could be considered lazy podcasting for us just to watch this. I feel like Sniper Wolf right now. This I is know. awesome. Dude. Just <laughs> reacting to content, but this is the one of the realest moments I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah, this is like we're seeing like a relationship 
have its downfall maybe live on the air here. Boeing. Babes. Oh, please let us see this. Come on, RDR. Come on. The, the goddamn Android, dude. This is what it does to us, man. If you had an iPhone. I can't believe it. I've been writing, diligently writing a script about evictions for the eviction video with RDR. Yeah. Which, let's see if he's even around when that video debuts. Well. But I, I just get more. I feel more and more sorry for his landlord with every letter I put onto that script. Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe somebody should show him the videos of the feces all over the wall. Maybe he needs to... Sh As a landlord, I think he deserves to know that, Danny. What about a guy jerking off for the World Wide Web <laughs> without any kind of paywall or, or age verification? Well, because he was... Well, yes, I understand that that's kind of a problem, but because he was holding... Because he was holding a dog, I say we just let... Before we let the landlord know, we, we let... The ASPCA, no. Have before. those dogs been sexually assaulted? Has anyone consulted with those dogs? Or it would not amaze you know, me. It, I, genuine question. I mean, I, I'm yeah. a cat person. Mike, I I, I know <laughs> you are closer to this than most because you know Rat Pussy Pam romantically. You know her <laughs> asshole. Yep. Yeah. This is a fan who, in Close 2020, enough. was invited into a uh, gangbang mm -hmm. with the couple. But those dogs, if I were to... You know what? If Rat Dick just started fucking one of the pugs in oh, the ass God, on stream... Yeah. I would only be like 25% surprised. Yeah, he goes... Well, that's pretty good. He goes on cursed images or whatever forever. If he does that, he will be probably beaten to death in some no, jail for that. I'm just playing. I know he loves those dogs, you know. I, I hope he does more yeah. than himself, but... But Rat Dick, I feel like Rat Dick showing something his penis and rubbing it or maybe even putting it inside that thing is not mutually exclusive with love. I mean, think about it. Yeah. He, he fucking... Loves Leo and I probably deep down, and he shows us his <laughs> penis every chance he gets. I would—he probably would love to rape us up the ass. I think we got to see how much peanut butter he—he's been stocking up on, just in case, you know. Yeah, I just, at this point, whatever he's on right now, I don't no, even I'm think just he would. Kidding. I think he would want some <laughs> asshole. Well, I look. It's. <sighs> I think that the moment the BBC went in deep down her throat, the moment that she started. Gagging. Was, was there a the point, moment. Leo? Was yeah. it when it was just in the mouth region? Everything was all right, but once it passed the little, <laughs> the little dangly thing. Yeah. Once the uvula. Once he heard a sound, Danny, that he's never heard before. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, is, Rat pussy. Do you have asthma? What is that? <coughs> <coughs> oh no! It's the black cock. <laughs> once he heard that sound, Danny, it was like a gong, from I don't know to start. A little war in his head. It was like a gong that mm. Genghis Khan, the Genghis Khan gong. Mm. The war started in his head. Wow. Wow. And now he's in turmoil. They say that Sid Barrett from Pink Floyd, who I, we should do an, uh, a Pink Floyd video just because Rat Dick is so aligned with Sid Barrett. Sid Barrett, the, one of the founders of Pink Floyd, their songwriter, went away for a long weekend in the 60s and he came back and everybody said he was crazy because mm. he just took some bad acid. Who would have known that with rat dick, it wasn't all the acid. It's just a fucking black dick. <laughs> it was a black dick. Maybe he just needed to have a cigar. <clears throat> Come on <laughs> here, dear boy, have a cigar. You're going to go far. Yeah, it's, I don't it's really. a deep cut. I, I don't advocate props. for chasing pussy, but I think. I think Rat Dick needs to start chasing pussy. Oh, Is that God. what he needs right now? <laughs> no, I no literally, start shaping up. You know, fucking get that shit off his face. Yes. Clean up his, ha clean up his house. When he's gone all day, uh, bring some bitches over. You know, you know, lie to I them, catfish them. But sooner or later, he'll get a catch. You know, fuck it. I don't know, I, dude. The, I don't know. You're like, you're trying to get him to do exponents and division well, he's 25. before he does addition. Yeah, no, that's true. I guess uh, I haven't seen him in a while. He's got to, he's got to clean that fucking apartment. <laughs> he's got to stop. I mean... The yesterday's live stream. Can we go over, Austin? Why don't you tell us? We've been kind of beating around the bush here, but can you give us a minute-by-minute minute breakdown of this thing? Yeah. yeah, so... man, Like, whenever I joined it, it was after he was doing all the monkey stuff where he was live streaming on that site, and it was like, RDR jerking off live on kick. And I was like, oh, no, Rad Dick's gonna get banned because he's showing his penis. Uh, and then... I go in there and I'm like, yo, if you keep showing your penis, you're going to get banned. Like you just hit 100 followers. And then he started, he had a big smack of shit on the wall. And then he was like eating cake. And then he was like finger painting with his shit. Do we know it was shit on the wall? Yeah, the shit on the wall was real. 
How do we know that? One second, Mike. We got to be careful who talks when. How do we know it was real, Austin? Uh, Because he would like accidentally touch it at certain points, like after he cleaned himself. And he was like, oh, man, I touched it again. And then he's like, I got to get back in the shower and like clean up or whatever. And then he, he brought out some cake. To be fake, the, the 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 shit was definitely real. And then he started pissing on the shit while it was on the wall, and then started like painting a swastika with his feces. Mm. And then he started just like rubbing shit on his face, See, and he and it got in his eyeball. And he was like, "Oh, my eye hurts." Uh, it was an insane stream, dude. Then what happened? Um, oh my gosh, I like, I don't even know. It was like a complete blur. But then eventually. He started jerking off with the with the rat head on. Well, he was doing that before I joined the stream because someone posted online like RDR is jerking off while live on Kick. So then I joined. His it's hard stream. not to click on that fucking link, huh? <laughs> I joined his stream after it's, he had already finished the. You know, Instagram's it's, so saturated now, Leo. You know how hard it is to get somebody to swipe up and go to your link. You're right. I mean, let's be honest. We've all thought about jerking off on live, you know, to get a few followers, get some, make some cash. You know, we've all thought about it. Leo, you want to call him back right now? I got something yeah, to say. Yeah, I do. Um, also, you know, guys, just to say, I was planning on doing great things. You know, we were going to have Wide Neck confront him in RPP on the couch here. Today? We're, yeah, no, next week. Mm. We were going to have him confront Mike today. And, you know, RPP and Mike, I was hoping, we're going to have a little romantic moment. Yeah. You know, we even got another virgin coming later. I was going to see what he was going to maybe get a handful of them titties. I don't know. There was a lot of entertainment coming your way. Instead, but Radzik had to have a big weekend. He had to have a big weekend, dude. Let's give him a call because I'm still digesting all of this. And you can tell him that. I want to talk to him. I'm still trying to think. So we, he took a shit on the wall. <laughs> well, he took a shit, picked it up, and threw it at the wall. All right, semantics. <laughs> he made it into a swastika with his finger. Yeah. He masturbated in the rat helmet with a dog yep. while unvetted people flickered in and out, some of whom might have been underage. Yeah. Hmm. Do you think if Chris D'Elia did that, he would be canceled? The text now subscribes. So, mm, he didn't answer. Answering. No, but maybe we should call RPP. Yeah, Fuck let's it. call RPP. Let's get her take. She seemed like she might be already... You know what, Leo? She might have a broomstick over her shoulder and one of those little <laughs> hankies with all of her earthly yeah. possessions. She could probably fit everything she owns into a little hanky. I uh, I agree. Most of that stuff in the house is not hers. So yeah, she might be out of there. That would be insane if we witnessed the breaking up of. And I want to tell I'm going to tell Rat Dick what I think of his performance, but it, mm -hmm. it does amaze me that Rat Pussy is still with him. I mean, at this point, it's crazy. Yeah. And that live stream shut off for real, Austin. Uh, yeah, it's temporarily it's down. I don't know if Rat Pussy disconnected their internet or something just then. Or That's whatever. possible, or it's possible that she was serious enough that RDR knew we Vivi? had to chase her down. Hello? Hey, Vivi, we're just checking up on you. Um, are you okay? No, I'm doing what? What? Are you crying? <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to try to cheer you up. We do have an old flame here on, on the couch. And he, he, he says that you look be so beautiful. I'm, I you're, not, you're not, you're not. I'm sorry. Listen, here. what is Raptic doing? Why, are, why is he doing this? Can you, can you give us a little I insight? What the hell is wrong with him? You know, I called him last night. I called him today. The, today. What is he doing? Is this just like his way of like exiting the pot? Like, <laughs> is he, is he lashing out because of what happened? I honestly don't know. Uh, RPP. Don't don't cry. Everything's gonna be okay. You, you have to realize that. First of all, you're a beautiful woman, and, and like you can tell that there are many many suitors. But in the comments, many many guys that would yeah, would love you. You don't have to. You know, if you, if Rattig isn't isn't the end all be all for you. And tell her there's always Wide Neck who said she's the throat goat. Wide Neck doesn't stop texting me about you. He Facetimes me and he's like. Oh, oh fuck, Danny, you asshole! I was trying to make I her was feel really good. You were about to tell her that Mike was here. You were about to go right. Hey, you know what? I know your boyfriend's having a psychotic breakdown, but we got a fan oh, who I fucked you when an, you were on meth. An old flame. It was coke. Is he not an old flame? She knows it, where we're at. It was an old flame she had after she put the flame to a refrigerator light bulb. Yeah, we got to call her back, and I got to be serious and apologize.
Dude, I can I talk to her this time? Yes, but don't be a fucking jerk off. Leo, and no, f- Leo, joke. don't you dare make a fat joke. You understand me? Leo, come Maybe on, just one. I would never. Don't you dare, Leo. Don't you dare. I hope she answers. You're pimping me out to be the worst person ever right now. See, for people at home who are watching, what what happened right there is when Leo says, "Don't you dare make a fat <laughs> joke." He's he's basically telling me that. If I don't make a fat joke, I'm a poor improv partner. <laughs> he's, it's called pimping in the world of improv, and he's being a fucking asshole. I, it was, dude, it's Loki. That was, okay, he's, he's calling me out. That's true, man. I'm actually being the asshole in the situation. I'm going to go You're ahead and say that. You're being a huge asshole. I am. Because then I would be a fucking bummer if yeah. I was like, oh, how are you feeling? You're, you're so beautiful. It, what Leo wants is me to be like, hey, fat tits. How's it going? Stop. I know dude. you left the apartment. We, did you bring the ruffles with you? You're going to need those. Stop it. That is That's what you way wanted me overboard. to do. That's what you that example was unnecessary. That's what you wanted. That was an unnecessary example. Could have been a one simple little fat joke. Oh, you like Twinkies? Why, why did it have to go to the thing, the snorting? How, why I, do you have to do the snorting? Because I was, I feel like in your sick mind, the snorting is what you wanted. You're right. We all wanted it. It's <laughs> just the, it's just, it's sad because we're going to lose out on a lot of comedy because Rat Dick decided to put feces on the wall and make swastikas out of it. I mean, God, what could, what else could you do? What if you wanted to get yourself kicked off a pod? Yeah. I mean, you couldn't even do, you, you wouldn't even go that far. You know, I'm going to say this right now to all you guys that, I mean, it's kind of performance art genius. I mean, obviously, like, I've been thinking it over, it, Leo, though. It's going to go down in history as one of the great moments of the podcast, unfortunately. Like, dude, but, this yeah. guy just in a an, ev- an evicted apartment that he's squatting in should be condemned just going just going ape shit throughout the house with his feces, with dogs, with his penis, with whoever wants to pop in on the live stream. Yeah. It really is a fantastic experiment in American entertainment. It is. Uh, I, she says she, uh, I, she said it's okay, and now she's not crying, but um, she's been trying to tell him to stop. He doesn't listen to her. He doesn't care, and she doesn't know what to do. She's going through some serious shit. What's up, fellas? Wanted to take a break from the pod for a second to tell you about Raycon earbuds. Now, this Valentine's Day, there are some things that go really well together. I don't know, strawberries and chocolate, bananas and chocolate, you know, I don't know, gummy bears and sweet cream. But you know what else goes really well together? My Raycon earbuds and the Leo and Danny show. I'm a guy that likes to listen to podcasts, go on long walks, you know. I might listen to some other podcasts as well. I'm not going to give them a shout out there in my podcast, buddy. Well, my Raycon earbuds... They block out all the noise. They're easy to use. Guess what? They're also compatible with Siri. It's big. I'm an Apple guy. I have my iPhone. They're compatible with Siri. They're also compatible with Alexa. They're also (laughs) half the price of other comparable earbuds. And there's thousands of five-star reviews. You think all these people are going to be wrong? Um, Personally, guys, they're easy to use every day. They're very comfortable. They they stay in my ear during a workout because that's a big deal to me. I use my Raycon earbuds for two things, listen to podcasts on long walks, and also while I'm pumping at LA Fitness, I want my Raycon earbuds not to get out and fall out of my ear when I'm benching. You know, I put two plates on there almost every time, all right? That's all I need to to prove that I can do that because a very small percentage of the population could even do that. So listen, they're giving us a really, really cool um, deal for you guys, and I want you to listen close because... Get these earbuds. They're way less expensive than anything you're going to find that's comparable on the market. So go to buyraycon.com slash LDS today to get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash LDS to score 15% off and free shipping. Buyraycon.com slash LDS. They're the best bang for your buck earbuds you're going to find, guys. Go get them and take advantage of this. Peace. Here's what I'm thinking, dude, is if this breakdown, I really, because we, I thought we had to keep Rat Dick together long enough to film the eviction video. Mm-hmm. But now I'm starting to realize that, oh God, like, we need Rat Dick and Rat Pussy Pam to stay sane 
until the OnlyFans video was posted mm -hmm. because I still need to get consent forms like or not consent forms, but OnlyFans like releases before I post it anywhere from Vivi. Yeah. And if they just disappear, it's a lot of money they're leaving on the table. That's true. And I, I couldn't post it anyway. So it wouldn't be like I would be like, hey, 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 hey. more for me. No. Yeah. You'd be, be out the money that you paid him up front. And uh, I'd, I'd still probably host it on the dark web. Oh, you can just, you know, <laughs> forge it. I could forge it too, yeah. I could just, um, you know, I could just like take Grimace from McDonald's and make him Latina and give him long hair. I think you are an <laughs> evil human being. No. Fuck you, dude. You made, you wanted it. <laughs> that was just, I mean, one of the most, I can't believe you said that, but all right. Very descriptive, I, though. I feel like a fucking dick, dude. <laughs> I was going to say, you just put like one little black box like over car, RPB's oh, yeah. eyes in the video and you say you blurred her face. Just <laughs> one little. Uh, we probably, I mean, if need be, we could release it on the dark web accepting crypto payments. There we go. It's like for for one Solana, you can have the video. And we we make sure that uh, Rat Dick opens up a little Bitcoin account, a little, uh, what is it, Coinbase account, so we can send him a few when wherever he is. I, I think Rat Dick does not have the government ID needed to get a Coinbase account. Damn it. You're right. Dude, and I, I messed up earlier whenever I was watching his stream because there was this one guy in the chat who was talking shit about me. And he had a picture of a girl in his profile picture. I was like, why are you flexing your fat, old, ugly girlfriend? And then they, then he responded, that's a picture of Rat Pussy Pam. Damn. <laughs> and I was like, oh, damn, I'm sorry. Dude, Leo had the best move once. Some guy, probably like a year ago, was talking trash to Leo in our comments. So, Leo, what did you do? Did you DM or follow his girlfriend? I, uh, I followed his girlfriend and DM'd her. And I was like, hey. And then she followed me back. And then... Uh, you know, and then I posted that she was following me on my story, and this guy was just done. But all our fans are letting him know, too. It was That's great. That's amazing. Yeah. Some guy once, I forget what he said, but he said something like, you could tell he wasn't really like a, a real fan. No, he wasn't. Yeah. Like, you could tell it was just one of those guys who just filters in. He, he watched the channel once, two years yeah. ago, came back to talk shit. This guy said something to me, mm -hmm. and I found his girlfriend on his profile and followed her. Nice. And she just immediately starts messaging me, like, hey, yes, how's it going? Dude. And I just, I had had to like i was like this is a dark magic i'm using her i yeah. got it i that is unfollowed her didn't respond I yeah it's nice of you but you I, should I have screenshot it and sent it to the guy though it, just say he learns a lesson it would have been funny but i i just i was in a very compassionate mood and nice. i couldn't do it it was the right thing to do dude is it uh, not engaged with that stuff obviously but it's fun yeah it's fun yeah it's funny yeah. I, uh, Fez or somebody, can you guys move this light over here? I've got like 16 lamps in my fucking eyes. I don't know why I made Fez do that. Get some steps. He needs the steps. No, Fez yeah, needs Fez, the steps. For the steps. Get it. For the steps, dude. Just like my coach, he used to send this one guy named Poncho. He was about 315 and he'd always make him go get the foul balls. He'd be like, hey, Poncho, do it. Go for the walk. He'd always say like, just, it was okay to fat shame. He'd, he'd sometimes call him a fat dude, you know? <laughs> he'd be like, Poncho, you're such a fat yeah, dude, that was a coach in 2007. Austin, can you bleep that so we Sorry, can still yeah, keep yeah, the yeah. AdSense? Just, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. just just bleep the word twice. Fat yeah, shaming right. words. I, I agree with it, by the way. What's that? Uh, yeah, you killed it, Fez. Good You're job, Fez. For the walk, you got, you know, another 20 steps that you might have not done. So that's a couple calories. I was going to call Adam 22. I left my phone in my car, though. Mm -hmm. It's about your girl. I just, Dude, I just want to say that a lot has been said recently, mm -hmm. and it's all said by a lot of motherfuckers who have no respect for love. Okay. Because I I'm a beta, Leo. I've come okay. to realize that this past year. Oh, really? You're a beta. You know, I people don't know this, but Holly Day and I have been low-key dating mm -hmm. from much longer than when it came out officially that her and I were hooking up, you know. It's awesome. I mean, so when you see a video like her vagina just getting destroyed <laughs> by dreads uh giant i mean f probably eight times this nah, i don't want to say that but girth you're gonna plus, 8x my dick, i'm dude? sorry dude you is dreads do that? is dreads you think you could just 8x me i'm sorry you can't eight x me seven five times a blue size. whale might be an 8x not dread dude so when you saw that, when you see those videos, though, because I know that like they're out there, you know what I mean? We could put them right. out, we could bring one up without putting it on the pod here. But if you, if just to have it as background kind of music here or something, but 
Um, what does that do to you when you think about it? It's just your girl. Thing. You know, bro, it's it's really tough. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of volume. Valium. Okay. Valium. Okay. That's how you say the pill, right? Barbituate? There have been a lot of barbituates, a lot mm -hmm. of nights with the bottle. Actually, after the, the dread thing, I had to make a little splint. I had to make a reverse. Oh, uh, was that it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're going to yeah, make me watch off. this right now, Austin? Yeah, sound off, dude. Sound off. Obviously, you can't, you know, you'd have to watch. Watch this on your Austin, own, guys. If is, you wanna... Hey, cover oh, your wow. eyes. Cover your eyes, Whoa. Fez. This is my girlfriend. Oh, my God. That is going to get destroyed. Oh, he's eating it. He's eating That's her ass. That's how eating rat pussy Pam's ass right that there. That is a 60-year-old black man eating that ass, dude. Dude, all I, all I got to say to Dread. Oh, did you see the... Oh, my God, dude. What? what? It's a camera trick. It's really not that big. Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? You know, I, he's got a shitty personality, though, Leo. You, th you think so? He's got a he lame was, personality. He was kind of a renaissance man on that on, uh, with Adam-22. He must have read the newspaper before going on that morning. You think so? He's yeah. very healthy. He seems like a healthy guy. He works out. Oh, shit. He is plowing her. Oh, that is way too... Oh, she is really wet, though. That is crazy. I have it on oh, good God. faith. The Dread had a chlamydia scare in 2019, okay? Okay, well, that was many So, joke's years. on him. It was so many years before he banged your chick, though. Whatever, dude. Whatever. And I've never been tainted by something like that. Do you eat her pussy? You know... Do you eat her pussy? It was fucked up, but after she came back from the shoot, she was like, "Stop, Danny, I want you to lick some of the residue no! that's still around the rim of my little Australian clan." Oh, no, did you ice it too? Because she probably needed some ice after this, dude. It was like we had to tape it back together. Oh come we had, on! Like we just had to apply duct tape. To, duct tape? To, yeah, because otherwise it wasn't going to be tight again. What? Did you? What? How much duct tape did you use, dude? Like three strips. Wow, and it, it, it kind of kept it in place? I mean, maybe. I think KD tap, tape would have been better. You know, that 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 physical therapy tape? Is that what wide receivers have on their elbows in the NFL? Correct. That is what wide... wide see, and it stays through you know, the game, so it'll probably... She could probably do an entire scene with the KT tape I, on. I'd go into a big five and ask her that, but it would probably be some ex-college football player. Like, yeah, man, we got that shit right here. What you need it for? And I'd be like, oh, you know, my uh, the love of my life's been getting banged by the biggest cock on planet Earth. Like, shit, man, what's her name? And I'd be like, you know, it's Holly Day. And then he would be in her DMs doing the same shit. I mean, you put your penis inside of her vagina after that thing was in there? Bro, I put my tongue up there. Oh. Well, what are we going to do, dude? I want to call, I just want to let, like, you know, Adam-22 and fucking Dread know that mm. they're going down. Yeah, you know they're going. Dead. They better watch their six, dog. It's on site. You know it's on site. Like I'm gonna start fucking swinging, dude. Because like, luck. Yeah. I mean, whatever. I mean, if she, you know, she's. It's like if you, you would still eat an apple after like Adam Twenty Two jizzed on it. I mean, that's basically the same idea. But if you wash the apple, would you then eat it? I mean, that's the idea. I'm trying to work out this thought experiment. <laughs> it's a thought experiment, but I reject it because I think the basis of it is disrespect. Okay, it is not disrespect. It's purely just something so I guess the fans could get to know you a little deeper. If Adam 22 and Dread were just bored and there was a nice crisp pink lady apple on the table, mm. okay, and they said, eh, we're going to just jizz on it right now. Uh -huh. Okay, so they both jerk off and jizz on the on the apple. Yeah. And then you come in to do plug talk, or not plug talk, maybe you come in to do, you know, a one-off episode with Adam, no jumper, and he goes, hey, Danny, we had this apple. Yeah. But me, you can have it, but me and Dredd, we jizzed all over it. And then what would you, what would you say? Do you want, would you still want the apple? If Adam 22 and Dredd mm -hmm. go anywhere near my woman... And because you brought fruit into this, if they go anywhere near an apple for the rest of their lives, mm -hmm. I'll be there. Okay. I will knock both those motherfuckers out cold. Okay. I'm putting it out right now. I will knock Dread and Adam-22 out cold if they and get then, anywhere near my girl or fruit. What's that, Austin? And then you'd eat it. Then I'd eat, yeah, just out of respect. Because if I <laughs> knock him completely unconscious, it's like the least I could do is eat a little cheese. respect, I've mean, I I never seen you flirt this much before. Like, you are dead serious right now. I'm dead serious, bro. It's like a really, really serious relationship. It's getting more serious, obviously, because 
you know, I'm pretty sure you met her right when she banged Dread. So, I mean, that was like the basis. That was like the foundation. Dude, it's just like. Of your relationship. It's just like tough. Like, I'll call her, you know, maybe like 20 times a day. Mm-hmm. And she'll answer like two of those calls. And so, you know, it's a, it's stressful. The whole relationship's fucking stressful, but. I get it, man. It seems like a really, like, I don't know how I'd do it. I don't think I could do it. Fez, could you do it? If your chick was banging Dread. If you saw that video you just saw. I saw the monster thing. I was like, oh, I saw that big dude. It's all camera angles. Dude, that, oh that video, God. I've never seen that before. That was just frightening. You know what? Yeah. I'm gonna put this out there at Adam Twenty Two right now. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go low. I'm not gonna come after anybody in Adam's family. Mm-hmm. But I know where you live, Adam. Oh. And I'm gonna fucking wrestle that piece of shit labradoodle you have to the lawn. And fuck its asshole when you get home from work. <laughs> Holy shit. That is that, that is ch- quite the claim. I, I've never I don't know that I, I'm pretty sure he has security that'll take care of this problem for him, but I mean I'll knock him out. Okay. I'll knock everybody out, dude. I, I'm okay. gonna I'm gonna fumigate the no jumper warehouse because it, there needs to be a biblical style flood that cleans that thing out. Do you think it's a, you know, he deserves you to fuck his dog's ass just because don't care <laughs> don't care did he have i mean he was a little disrespectful with your chick though i mean you know they were going to shoot the scene supposed to be a cuck scene you got cut out of that you were you were left outside and then he he, he, he she ate his ass she ate his ass she in your house no wow no she hasn't ever i've asked wow I, for my birthday you know for valentine's wow. day she wouldn't do it and like, uh, wow, dude, you know, I like I told her when I saw that, when I saw her just fucking devouring his ass. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to like your next Instagram post. Damn. Damn, you went there. huh? Damn, that's I mean, that's she's probably looking for a comment. Dude, well, will you comment? I liked it and commented anyway. I, I broke. <laughs> dude, dude. What I broke. is wrong I with fucking you? Broke, bro. You're being a cuck, dude. I just like. You know that the heart pines for what the heart pines for. It's like cuckception. Mike, as a guy that has eaten some ass in RPPs, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've eaten a lot of ass. Okay, yeah. I'm what do you think about if a yeah. girl eats another man's ass while you're in a relationship and hasn't eaten your ass? What do you think about that? Yeah, it's definitely a no go for me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, I, th- I think it, if your girl doesn't <laughs> eat your ass, like. Just to begin with, yeah, you know, shower or not, then she's not, she doesn't love you. If she can't look you in your eyes while she's like fucking holding your ankles over your head, oh wow, like, that's if the she's way you not do it. like you know doing it like that, then she ain't, right. she ain't for you. And especially if she's doing it to other men, it's like if it's if it's passion, if, it, if it's got that level of passion, then it's probably a problem. But if it's not too deep, you know, then I, I think you might be all right. You know, you know. Just, She's got another. She's got a triple anal coming up, dude. Oh <laughs> my god! She's got a triple anal coming up. It's three black guys. Three, three in a row. At three at the same time in her yeah, ass. Yeah, and she wants me to like fucking be her little massage boy. Oh come afterwards. on! Afterwards, it's no. fucking. It's uh, dude. She wants me to carry her purse and come to the set. I was like, no, I'm going Dang. to my parents' house when this is happening. You know, Dang. are you gonna do? Can or, I guess say something? Yeah, like, I'm gonna. I'm gonna carry her. You're purse. gonna do it? Yeah, I mean, dude. I, oh, she shit. she pays me now. It's like. Oh damn! She yeah. pays you. Yeah, oh. that's my that's my main source of income. What was that, Fez? No, no. Well, I'm gonna say like, it's a man. Yeah. You know that we have pride. Mm-hmm. Anybody right, knows that. Him. But like, for you to like be put yourself down in a situation where you know what I'm saying your chick is gonna take so much advantage of you and not appreciate what you what she got going on with you. Because mm-hmm. let's face it, if it wasn't for you, she would have never met Alan Twenty Two. And this whole situation wouldn't ever have started. Dude, right, she's right. been like texting him recreationally too, not even in a party. What does she say to him? Just like, oh, that that little chocolate starfish tasted so delicious. Oh shit! And then she just like she's been texting. Uh, Did she say Ty- it's just for networking? Or she, well, like- dude, she's texting the three guys she's gonna triple anal too. It's it's Tyrone, Jamal, and Gulliver, dude. And she's just like <laughs> Gulliver. Is it, is it because of Gulliver's travels? Because he's a giant? I don't know, dude. It's probably like named that. after Gulliver. Pro- uh, you know, it's actually pretty clever. I like that. I porn believe it. it is. But Fez, no, you're fucking right dude it's just like i've you know i've lost faith dude i just got no respect for myself anymore i'm just a fucking doormat fez has this changed your perception on danny we got a call do you from feel RPP differently about you him i mean i still feel like he's a pussy warrior he's a pussy thanks, warrior man. hell thanks, yeah man. He, he can get any girl he won't ever want thanks man i appreciate but it but like what i think it i don't know this is an old-fashioned time for me but like 
a guy like you should be with a really good girl that like is gonna put you down to the ground when you elevate way too high. Cause I yeah. know you have a stubborn yeah. personality, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I mean your personality online, so we know that. But like, mm-hmm. I just feel like you can be with somebody who can bring you down to that that level, normal level again, mm-hmm. and just be happy, man. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, Fez. Well. Give me you a want, fucking hug, dude. Give me a fuck. Yeah, you guys need to hug it out. That was like one of the best pep talks I've ever seen. <laughs> to cheer you up, do you want me to call uh, somebody who's in a worse situation than you? RPP? One second. Let me just say one thing before. Yeah, sure. Fucking whore! Yeah, let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let one more out. Let it out. Let it out. Fuck Adam 22! Yeah, yeah. Let I it will out. Rape your dog! Okay, okay. Let it out. You feel better? Do you come on? That had to make you feel better. It's a call rap, Lizzie. I do feel better. Hey, we gotta go. We gotta run up the goons, bro. Yeah, man. You Let's go come? kick his ass. You guys got my back? Hell yeah, bro. Uh, we should roll up on Gulliver, Tyrone, and Jamal, too. Oh, I'll bring my boy Larry. Worry about Gulliver, man. <laughs> I wanna get raped. <laughs> Motherfucker, you got a whole village to strap him down. All right, we're calling uh, RPP back. She called me back twice. Hopefully, he answers. Or can, I, can I answer? Yeah. What's up, sweet cheeks? <laughs> I'm sorry. The pro- oh, come on. Yeah, Talk about a fucking cock tease. We'll have to call her back. This is, this is frustrating. Fez, Mike, how you been, Mike? How's life been? It's good, man. Fucking living the dream. Are you actually living the dream? <laughs> actually living the dream, yep. Tell me about it. Uh, you know, wake up, fucking make some money, pay it to the man, and try not to suck start a 12-gauge every day. Mm. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. Suck <laughs> no. start a 12-gauge. You know? <laughs> Fuck. Do you ever get suicidal? I, no, I'm not on Ozempic. I need it. But I heard Ozempic makes you suicidal. Which Ozempic is terrible, dude. No, I'm just I watched Tucker Carlson's interview about it with a, with a Stanford medical guy. Yeah. So it basically paralyzes your bowels. And then if you oh. get off of it, even if you've just been on it for a little bit, you might still have bowel paralysis. It has terrible long-term consequences. I think they approved it in children. They, they prescribe it to kids all the time now. That's crazy. Like, you know, there's so many, like, little chubby, like, no offense, Fez, Latina kids, Latino kids. It's the soda, man. It's a soda. Same problem with you. You can't add another 1,500 calories of sugar water into your diet every day. Can you believe they are having a single drop of soda this day? That's amazing. Today? Half yeah. a day. Today. Congratulations. We sort of told Jeff or Fez that uh, he he just can't drink soda around us anymore. We're Please. just not going to tolerate Fez, it. Fez, I, like, I know it's it's not comfortable or whatever, and you feel like they're being bullies, but it's so much better for you, dude. So yeah. check this out. I, I, I learned this recently, too, that all anxiety and depression and mental condition, maybe not all of it, but like 80% of it is born from your gut. It's a gut, man. Yeah, yeah. the enzymes. Hello? Yo. Hello? What, why, why is Rapple C. Pam calling you? Oh, it's, oh, whoa, buddy. Because I was trying to console her. She was crying, man. Yeah, she's pretty upset. Help you jealous, bro. Also, you know, Mike, who was all up in that ass, he wanted to say what's up. Sorry. He wanted to say what's up. Mike's here. Dude. You know Mike. Yeah, well. bro, what the fuck? Where you at? NBA Mike? Nah, not NBA Mike, buddy. The Mike who was involved in a little foursome. He's here. Anyway, Ratchik, we're all worried about you, man. That's really what we're calling you. And I'm going to give you the phone over to Danny Mullen because Cap, Cap, he wants to talk to you. Shit podcast. Fuck wait, you. wait, wait, Ratty. Ratty, I was going to tell you that you're a performance art fucking genius, dude. That's what I've decided in the course of the last two days. Oh yeah, the why why is Rapid Supreme ending my kick my fucking my stream? Did she end it? It was a little yeah. ambiguous as to why it closed down. Yeah, she ended it. Well, she doesn't appreciate great fucking she art. Unplugged the Wi-Fi. Oh, that's right. Good call, Austin. <laughs> Ratty, I like what you're doing, but you just gotta be what we need is for you to act like you're crazy without actually doing crazy stuff. So the swastika with the feces, the mustard all over your face. I don't mind that. It just you gotta draw the line when we're we're dabbling in illegality, like masturbating on Omegle. Yeah, I didn't know that I was 
You know, I, I made sure everybody was over 18. I don't think that's possible to do. <laughs> uh, there was a disclaimer in the, the chat box. So if you're not over 18. Did anybody see the disclaimer? Nope. <laughs> I tried. I tried to be a disclaimer. Well, RDR, let's talk about right now. Is RPP in the apartment? Yeah, she's pissed off. She's crying. She's in the apartment right now? Yeah. What do you think about a little back rub? She's not giving me no back rubs. No, no, you give her one. Do you want a back rub at Pussy Pam? I said no. Leo, you think you could help him out with the Casanova ways? I could. I'm going to give you over to a professional. <clears throat> RDR, tell her... Um, Tell her that uh, you're going to get her a hotel. I'll give you some money for that. It's uh, it's going to be the Hilton. Oh wow! And uh, in Wilden Hills because we need you know a little discount. Um, Oxnard. <laughs> you know what? Danny's right. Hilton and Oxnard, a little more of a Oxnard. discount. Um, and then tell her that uh, you'll see her in a couple of days. Okay. And then when she's there, I'm going to pay for a spa treatment, and. Uh, She's gonna go alone. Yeah, she's gonna go alone, and and uh, and then um, well, Wide Nick is gonna keep her company. He's gonna go visit her in Oxnard for a couple of days. She'd like that. She's addicted to BBC now. Stop it! Don't say that. <laughs> That's not what they're gonna do. They're they're gonna be friends. They're gonna just do friend stuff, and he's gonna do the back rub. He's a very strong black man. He can do it. Um, and you know, he's going to be there for, and just hang out as friends. All right. They're going to go maybe catch a couple breakfasts, maybe a nice brunch, have a couple of mimosas. Nothing's going to happen, but in a couple of days, we'll let you know where she stands. But, uh, I just want to let you know that that's what I'm setting up for. Is that all right? Yeah, she can leave, I guess. Stop, dude. Tell her you love her right now. You do though, right? Don't you love her? Yeah, why don't you guys have me on the podcast? Well, because you did some really crazy stuff. But ask her this. Look at RPP right now and repeat after me. You ready? All right, ready. Say RPP. RPP. Do you still love me even though? Do you still love me even though? I might have. I might have. Used my own feces. Used my own feces. To draw a swastika on our apartment wall. To draw a swastika on our apartment wall. And even though. And even though. And even though. There is a high chance. There is a high chance. That I masturbated. That I masturbated. In front of a teenage boy. In front of a teenage boy. What is her answer to that question? What is your answer to that question? She says no. Okay, well, you know, I listen, that you can ask her again in a little while. This is the Heartbreak Hotel. I mean it's a rough podcast for love, Leo. It's a rough podcast for love. And dude, it's all good, man. She's the good thing is she's gonna be in good hands and the at the Oxnard Hilton. And and you gotta he can protect Yo, her, you know. Man, a motherfucker feels like pipping on the rebounds. <laughs> you know, because you remember when the Jordan in 93 line. I looked it up, by the way. And Jordan, Jordan in 93, when he said, when when Wideneck was getting the blowjob and he said that he felt like Jordan in 93, Jordan in 93 won an MVP award. He led the league in scoring and he won, you know, a ring. Just oh, like, wow. You know, and then he retired. And then he went to go play baseball. Because that was, sure, it sure. was his third championship and he was like, I'm done. But just like Michael in 93, yeah. Wideneck will be back. He'll be back, dude. He's coming back, all right? He's going to play a little baseball, figure out it's not for him. Wide neck, the BBC had the biggest cock I'd seen. <laughs> We're trying to make light of the situation, <laughs> Art Randy, but like, do. I'll be back again someday. I have a good book that maybe you should read. It's it's about it's it's a Taoism Dao, of fear of success. You have fear of success. It's, that, that book does not exist. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a principle of Taoism. <laughs> and listen, why do you have fear of success? So much, there's, bro. There's no success to be fear of. Well, yeah, you do, bro. You were gonna have, you were gonna have, make like you could have done the stream, like, bro. The rat, the RDR fans would have been happy with a little mustard on your face. Be, I would have been lucky to get three more weeks out of you guys if you guys kicked me off. The we were gonna kick. Well, if you didn't put shit on the wall and jerk off with a fucking rat head on, we could have kept you for way longer. For at least a week and a half longer. Rat dude. Let me talk to him. Yeah, Rat dick. I, dude, we're not. 
none of us want to get rid of you. That's not our intention. But just things like, you know, stimulating yourself on a live stream where people are calling me up and saying like, hey, dude, there might be kids flickering in and out of this fucking stream. That's a lot of heat. And it happens on Sunday and I don't even turn my phone on until noon. So we had like a th like three hours to make the call. What's going on? And to unpack this thing. And we're yeah. like, all right, let's just give Rat Dick a little bit of a time out here. We'll figure it out. Some people in the house are pissed. Dude, we don't want, we want you to be here all the time, bro. That's true. I understand you. It's just, you got to take responsibility too. I understand that the crazier you go, the more people react to it. But you got to have, you know, one eye on the community guidelines of whatever platform you're working off of. Yeah, I can't be jacking off on um, Beagle. Yeah. Hey, dude, yeah. jacking off is for OnlyFans, bro. You can jack the fuck off. Well, you can't because you don't have an ID. And you're a fugitive. Yeah. But, you know, theoretically, one can jack off on OnlyFans. Yeah, eventually. I'll get there. You'll get there someday, man. Bro, just um, take a shower, first of all. Stay away from the shower wall with the poop swastika. And, yeah. um, you know, just fucking console rat pussy. I think that's the number one thing, bro. You always got a spot here. We're not kicking you out of anything. Just, uh, you know, take 15. Hey, you should take a knee, Leo. Take a breather. I'll, I'll, take a I'll breather, take a dude. Knee. I took a knee for boys. Did you, you, you took a knee for black lives? Yeah, I'll take a day for Black Lives the boys and sit out for the week and I'll be back. Sure I think that's what you should do is I think you should post I'm like four or... black squares on his Instagram. What do you think? If you right, Dick, I think it couldn't hurt right now for you hit a for you to hit a four year delayed black square. Yeah, bro. For every year that you didn't black post square. it. Fuck yeah. it. Do a smash and grab. Fuck it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, Rat Dick also, yeah, and, and just put hashtag BLM under, and that's all I want. Hashtag BLM, Rat Dick for BLM. I, I believe that's one of our, uh, another guests, if somebody wants to go get him. Fez? Rat Dick, what do you think about ripping a little black square? I, I, feel, I don't think I'm going to post a black square on Instagram. I can't do that. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Rat you Dick, have to. It's really, like, anybody who doesn't is a racist. Tell him, tell him, dude, we can be his publicist. We can help him get back into the good graces of our of everyone. Leo and I are public image professionals, man. We are. And right now, yours is a little uh, shit stained. Yeah. Uh, well, that's true. It's a little shit stained. Sure. Um, Might I'll, be a little mustard on there also. Maybe a statement yeah. of sorts. We'll we could text him. Can I, can I text you a statement to put up on your on your wall? That sounds great, Rattic. Well, we'll think about yeah. what it's going to be right here on the pod, and then you just post that on your wall with a black square. What do you think? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that for you, Leo. I appreciate you. I yeah. think this will be a good move. Right, Dick? This is a way to for us to mend our our grievances. And then also I, I think black people everywhere will be will be tickled. Now you now you that's probably our guest. Now you get that your brain stirring all all the whole all dictate you dictate, we'll both dictate or whatever, and sure. then we'll write it to him and all right. One second. I'm gonna let you handle this. Sure. I don't have my phone. All right. All right, Art, Art Rat Dick. Let's let's think. Um I think what, what's the first sentence? In the honor of the late, great George Floyd, mm -hmm. I want to apologize. Okay, wait. In <laughs> in, in honor? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. In, in honor of, of the late, the great late, George Floyd. Great. George Floyd. Sober four years. In the honor of the late, great George Floyd. Three I, and a half, I think, technically. <laughs> I apologize. Apologize. For... <laughs> I think uh, for creating Nazi imagery mm -hmm. out of feces. Yes, this is good. Nazi imagery. And masturbating furiously. And masturbating furiously. While cradling. While cradling. A, um, a pooch? Is that a word for a dog? What kind of dog is Chuby or... Okay, while well, cradling a pug. Uh, I'm not done. Yes. In front of. In front of. I'm trying to think how we can say this without, you know, Allegedly. getting the post taken up. Yeah, yeah. In, in, yeah. While well, cradling a big in front of um, a live uh, audience. Uh, an unvetted, immature audience. How about that? There we, that's perfect. An unvetted, immature audience. Allegedly. Allegedly. 
because it was all a legend. And I will say that Rat Dick probably couldn't see through the helmet while he was masturbating. So it wasn't like he was intentionally masturbating in front of anybody in particular. Yeah. He was just blindly masturbating in the living room with an Omegle fucking feed on. Yeah. Which is a terrible idea. Really, really bad idea. Now, uh, all right. Well, we got it. We got it. Uh, it's ready to go. So I'm going to send it to you, RDR, and you will uh, you will post this with a black square. This is... Uh, yeah. Okay. The RPP, it's to RPP. So you got it. It's in there. This phone you're using should have it. And I need you to post that, okay? Is this really going to get posted, Ratic? Ratic, come here. You have to do it right now. Ratic, buddy, come on. You really want me to post a black square on my Instagram? Yes, you're going to post a black square, and you're going to say exactly... Did you send him the text? Yeah. Okay, you sent him the text. This is par for the course. Remember when Brock Lesnar had a bunch of nasty things to say about Bud Light after UFC 100 back in the day, Ratic? Yeah. Well, they made him bring a Bud Light to the press conference and drink it happily while apologizing. This is your Brock Lesnar moment. So you want me to post a black square on my Instagram saying what you just said? Yes. How many times do I have to say it? All right. And what you just said? Yes. Kind of gay. No. How is it? Oh, okay. Right, Not Dick. gay at all. I, I'm going to say right now, it is a, a pitch perfect description of what you did yesterday. Right. <laughs> Whatever gayness <laughs> comes from that is yeah. your fault, you that fucker. Just, it's you, dog. You were the guy jacking off in front of men on Omegle. I was jacking off in front of men on Omegle. How are we gay? Why, bro? You weren't even getting cash for it, bro. Like, God. You know, I just had a moment. I'll tell you after it. But, Rat Dick, can you please post that for us? And right let, now. Let us know. Yeah, right now. And let us know what it's up. Come on, dude. This is okay. just your apology to us, but more importantly, the black community. This is my apology to the black community. Yeah, but don't freestyle. I don't trust you freestyling. Just copy and paste, buddy, okay? And call us back when it's up. All right, all right. I had a, a moment of terror because I was talking to Rat Dick and yeah. holding this phone. I thought it was his phone. Oh, shit. Oh, and I no. thought, oh, I got to go wash my fucking it's head. It's nothing but Papa Leo's phone. Bro. Ratic, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this, but Ratic also Got dabbed. Yeah, yeah. Ratic also dabbed a cockroach. What's up, dude? He dabbed a cockroach this week on his Instagram feed, and that really did impress me. That's the kind of performance art G.G. Allen genius yeah, yeah. that I wouldn't mind seeing more of. I honestly think he should pack a full bowl of cockroaches. I say fuck yeah. the wax. I say you don't need to adulterate that shit. Yeah. Just go full roach, bro. That would have been a good idea. What's up, dude? Fez, you can sit next to him, too. Uh, you guys look uh, like you might be from the same place, so that's kind of why. Very well might be. Oh, he speaks good English, though. Yeah, that was a curveball. No, I'm uh, Mexican. Oh. <laughs> All right, put a... Uh, I knew I didn't like you. Kidding. Okay, grab... Put the... Uh, Kidding. Put those on and then grab the mic there on your right. Yeah. You got a hell of a chin dimple, bro. Me? What's that? Oh, it's just a rash, jujitsu. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't. I haven't been shooting trank. And then grab the mic and I'll talk like, in the front of it where that filter is. I I, you got yeah, right this. You got a yeah, mic yeah, up, yeah. Fez. Okay. Somebody guys give Fez the mic. So it's, uh, this is Jay. I brought him. I mean, it was strictly to pl probably play with RPP's titties because he, well, he's a virgin, so <laughs> that's that's why he's on the pod. But yeah, now he's just here good. hanging out with the boys. Yeah, it's you know? an honor to meet you guys. What's your name, man? Uh, Jay. I'm sorry. Right into the mic. Out. Right into the mic. I'm, I'm Jay. Jay? Jay Cizero. Jay, got it. You uh, you look like Jay from Broken Lizard. What's Broken Lizard? <laughs> they had, uh, okay. The Super Troopers and Beer Fest and all those comedy movies. Jay oh, okay. is one of the... He's a, And he's Indian, so I don't know how you take that as a Mexican. He, <laughs> no, I get that a lot. It's the hair. I don't want to. I don't want to look like a cholo, you know. The gray so vodka. I, it looks I, like I, a, a, a Lego piece on your head. Dude. <laughs> Indian <laughs> guys. I think Indian guys, as far as earning potential, rank a lot higher than not just Mexicans, but also white people. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. a good move, bro. Just to look as Indian as possible. I see that fake yeah, Rolex perhaps. on your wrist. Yeah, it's a. It's an Invicta. Very perfect. Cheap. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, dude. You got it. You got it figured out, dude. What kind of car do you drive? I drive a 1982 Corvette Collector Edition. Wow. wow. That's actually probably a cool oh, ride, a right? It is. I, I didn't I drive it like here. That. It's raining, and it doesn't have the T-tops yet. Smart. But, uh, yeah, it's just sitting in my in my mom's driveway, 
So how are you a virgin driving one of those? I feel like that alone should be able to get you a little pussy, bit of pussy. pussy. That comes with the <laughs> pussy magnet. Huh? Where can well, I install? You know, yeah. or, uh, Corvette will do that. Well, that's why I bought it, so to see if that'll increase my, my prospects. Can we what pull it up? Idea? Can we pull it up? And I also want to know how much you paid for it. It's going to look like the what old bat- Batmobile. Almost. A 1982 Corvette Collector Edition. I think the Cougars love those fuckers. What did you yeah. pay for it, Jay? I paid uh, 6500 for it. Okay, so it wasn't very much money. No, and it's. Uh, I mean, those are very, very nice examples, but mine is. Uh, it doesn't look quite so nice. No, uh, there's, there's quite. I mean, it runs and drives well enough. That's good. It, it just needs a lot of little stuff. Yeah. So, would you say it looks even half as good as these ones that are displayed? Yeah, I'd say so. I. It's not like thrashed or anything. I think you got to be, Jay. I think when you're trying to play the Indian card, because I got a lot of Indian buddies from college. For sure. I know Umber, fucking Suhas. Dude, I know the guys. And they, dude, it's sort of like when a um, a black guy is trying to fuck white girls. Yeah. He's got to like go out of his way to be palatable to a white audience. Mm, you got to sure. go out of your way to be palatable palatable to a fucking a, a female vagina yeah. and i think you can't chance it on one of these vintage cars because they're just going to read it as this is an old junker and this guy's fucking broke well well the way i see it is that i mean i've been a car guy basically my entire life i like to say uh i've been a trumpet player for 12 years now but i how old are you i'm 22 okay cool. uh but 20 22 years is how long I've been a car guy. So it kind of gotcha. wins out. And I don't, I've, what do you mean you got him, Leo? What is that? That's, so well, you I were mean, a car guy when you were well, You see, I've, I, I went to a show and, uh, jerk off uh, with some hot wheels or something. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Leo, you see in his car, he, 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 uh-huh. he roofied me oh, and, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. he stuffed me in his trunk and then yeah. stuffed me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the timeline adds up. You'd be, uh, what, like 15 when this guy was born or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that adds up. <laughs> yeah. Leo is already doing malevolent things. You piece of shit. <laughs> um, no, yeah. Being a car guy, dude, I feel like, um, that is just one of the roads to just not getting pussy. You know what I mean? But yeah. It's okay. No. Often no, no, no. guy, often car guys love cars more than pussy. You know? No. It, that's very true, and it's mm-hmm. funny that you mentioned that because, I mean, I I I've loved Corvettes forever, and and especially that body style, the C3 generation. But it's funny because I'm not getting ladies in that car. I'm getting old, fat white guys. Yeah, in that well, car. of course, yeah, yeah. Because th- those are the car but, guys. Yeah, but yeah, but internally, I'm like not to sound like a fucking shit lib. Oh, I'm a woman in, in a man's body. I'm I might I very well might be a 60 year old white guy. Sure. Well, I mean, a lot of Mexicans love cars, too. So this is not completely incongruent. That is true. What do you do for a living? uh, I work at a museum. You're a tour guide. Yeah, essentially. It's cool. It's it's a car museum. And uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping to get on the detailing team there. Sure. Well, this is good. I like this as a day job. But because you're a car guy. Yeah. You're going to have a lust that extends beyond your piece of shit 1982 Corvette. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be want to make you're going to want to be making more money pretty soon. Oh, absolutely. So, so what's the game plan? How are you going to make enough money to buy a car that was built in this fucking millennium? Right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to I'm going to contact one of my uh family members down down south in Mexico and I'm going this to This better not uh, be a joke. Yeah, I sense a joke, a joke coming. It was All a right. Joke. I'm sorry. You already got a Leo with the he face <laughs> fucked you when you were oh, zero. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, no, my, my game plan is uh, well, I have a music degree, so that's not going to get mm-hmm. me anything. Yeah. Basically. Well, a lot of people have worthless degrees that go on and start businesses. Real. So it's not like you have to do something involving music. For sure. And that's, that's my plan. I want to go to tech school so I can learn how to. Uh, work on ve- motor vehicles so then I can uh, take the ASE requirements, get the master mechanic certification and start working at a garage somewhere. Okay, I, I, guys who st- their wounds from the barbed wire or the border haven't healed yet are working in garages in Los Angeles. Okay, that yeah, doesn't no, make you no, money. No, all you need no, is no, no, little I know hands that. and some meth, dude. Man, you could work God, overnight. You know what I mean? Those yeah. are the guys that are worth a lot of money to those garages because they yeah. can you like, hey, 10 bucks an hour, you're just living in the well, street, but, you know, 24 hours yeah. in a, you know, straight. But, if but you I, buy a paintbrush, you're a painting contractor. That too. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, the thing is, though, 
like any but just about anybody can work at like Julio's Auto Body, you yeah. know. But but not everybody can work at some place like uh, there's a place in Lomita called uh, Bronze Motorsports. They yeah. do some world class build builds there. All right, and and there you you have to have already been in the business for maybe ten years. Mm-hmm. What do the techs get paid there? Uh, that's a good question. I want to, but I I I do know like generally at like high end. Uh, res- restoration places like that you can get paid anywhere 30 to 40 bucks a, an hour okay all right i think you start a business i think you take fez around <laughs> because you guys look related you say it's a family business mm-hmm. yeah and i think you just the only way to motivate fez to learn something new and work hard at it is the barrel of a gun for sure or so- uh, or a nice big mac that works too. Coca Cola. So you have it, you have positive and negative reinforcements. Right. The barrel is push, pushing him toward the labor, and then the Big Mac is making him, you know, a little more eager. Mm-hmm. Do you have any, uh, you know, could you maybe put in a good a good word for our boy Rat Dick Ralph at your museum for a job? Perhaps, maybe. Yeah. Oh, really? I'll see what I can do. What function I'm... could Rat Dick serve? <laughs> you know. Okay. So I have this question. So you know, you're a virgin, and yeah. you know, we you're sitting around a couple of, you know. Master ladies, man. You know, yeah. a couple of guys with black belts and, and getting pussy. A couple sure. of guys. Hey! Uh, a couple of guys who are, might be in the Pussy Hall of Fame mm-hmm. already. You know, we could retire now. Yeah. yeah. We're in the Pussy Hall of Fame. Uh, uh, you know, at least fucking we get a couple of votes. We get a couple of votes. You know, we might not qualify, but we get a couple of votes. Now, you what? especially, you've done some, you've Thanks, committed buddy. some fouls. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. In your career, you've committed started, a couple, a couple starts of pussy fouls. with my fouls. Spanish teacher in high school, my friend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, what is going on? Where has it gone wrong with the ladies? What do you think the problem is? I think, uh, I think I'm just too dorky, I think. Can you stand up and do a 360 for me? Yeah, sure. Fez, hold his mic. Is this a casting or? or? It's a casting couch. Oh, yeah, that's God, right. yeah. I'm going to have you sit down and spread your legs in a second, Baco. Okay, so. Number one, cars are too much a part of your identity. I see that car seatbelt buckle saw, belt. Yeah, uh, that's my Ford belt. Don't like it. And then also the shirt. Belt the shirt is clearly car adjacent. Yeah, yeah. If I was a woman of style that knows a little bit about the world, I would see you and think that you're one of the guys who would be working on a guy's car that I'm going to blow later. You feel me? You're going to be right there, Formula One. You know what I mean? With that, yeah. you're, you're You look like you work on a car. Yeah, that's you good. want to you want you to look like you own a cool car. You feel? Yeah. You, you want to be the guy who, when a chick takes her husband's car into the auto body shop, mm-hmm. you might steal that trim, Mister <laughs> Steal Your Girl, bro. That's what you got. You're gonna be steal working trim. towards that. You want to be that guy. There was a guy, Brad Sandoval. I should have just said so fucked up. I just said his name. <laughs> this fucking he was a jujitsu instructor. I used to train with. And this fucking mom would bring her kid in for kids class all the time, right. jujitsu. And Brad Sandoval would just lurk on the fucking hot Latina mom. Unreal. <laughs> and he ended up fucking her. No. She was married as shit. Oh, my God. I was teaching her son jujitsu while Brad Sandoval taught the adult class. He, oh. he wasn't even in putting any work in He for was it. teaching some adult classes. Yeah, huh? he was he teaching was. some adult classes. Um, Damn, that's fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Listen, I think it starts... With your gut health. We were talking about yeah. gut health earlier. Yes. What yeah, are you we, eating, yeah. kid? I mean... Well, this is... Let's let's my, go back to that really quickly. Oh, yeah, go back and to shit. that, yeah. So, fucking... This... Basically, the gist of it, the punchline, is that there's no money in telling people to eat some celery and drink water. There's no money in that for fucking anybody, except for, like, two celery farmers. Right. So, what do they do? They say, well, your diet doesn't matter. Obesity is a genetic disorder. It's a condition of the mind. You're racist if you say anything otherwise. That way, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, fucking people who make artificial corn products, they all get loaded. And you know who else gets loaded? The medical industry. It's genius. And yeah, people yeah. like Ozempic. So oh, right, everybody's yeah. getting their beak wet, except oh. for the celery farmers. Yeah. All the fatty food producers and all of the people who make diabetes medication and heart shit, and especially fucking Ozempic, everybody gets rich if we just maintain the status quo of fat asses. That's right. Now, to, to piggyback on that, what do, you, what do you think about this business idea real quick? Yeah. We, we have a fat camp okay. where at the end of the night, we put them in a fucking cage. <laughs> where we can I we, like what you're uh, saying so far. Continue. They're in a fucking cage. They yeah. sign they sign a waiver where they're down for this. Mm. It's a fat camp 
that guarantees that you're only going to get the calories that we're giving you because mm-hmm. you're going to be in a cage most yeah. of the time. Where are you going to go? It's got to be a really medieval style cage. Of course. Too. And me and you are dressed like fucking, I don't know, like, uh, well, I guess like medieval torture. Guys. Yeah, absolutely. You know, those Is guys, there a yeah. rack? We should have a rack. Yeah. yeah. You know a rack? You know what that does? The, what, what, with all the tools to torture? Like spread them. Exactly. Oh, that. Oh, yes, a rack. The yes. rack just stretches you. The fu- I think it's mm-hmm. how they got uh, Shire Baggins out of Gollum. That's how they got Baradour. They they put him on the fucking rack. Well, that's how they got William Wallace and Braveheart on the rack. Damn, unfortunately, dude. The ra- some Freedom! of some of the goats, dude. I mean, they sliced his, his gut open, dude. Some of the goats have succumbed to the rack. Of course, Gollum and William. Can Wallace. only hope. We can only hope. Someday that you and I'll go out on the yeah, fucking yeah, rack, dude. Yeah, that is the way to go, dude. <laughs> They'll take as long as they give us our laurels for the Pussy Hall of Fame. That's right, dude. <laughs> as long as These they give us those. These two are in the Pussy Hall of Fame. <laughs> uh, but uh, executioner, let- do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! But, but a fat camp, dude, imagine 192 best. bodies, bitch. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Fuck you, Adam 22. Yeah, that's going to be my yeah, last words. Your last words. Okay, Sorry, so what we do. say? What's that? What do you do? I'm, we're joking. People, people think I'm dating Holly Day. That Adam oh. 22 is fucking my girlfriend. Oh, yeah, you know so we're just playing with it. I saw that. I saw that Instagram post. So first yeah, order of business: gut health to go yeah. back. So gut health. What are you eating, kid? Hey, you got a little oh, beer man. belly there. I, uh, I, I am. I'm not ashamed to admit I am a McDonald's man. No, uh, I like wow. McDonald's. That every time you eat a McMuffin, you should realize it means you get less muffin in real life. <laughs> You feel? <laughs> Leo, you should tweet that. Dude. I should tweet that. That's a good one. I like it is. That. You got to remember that. You got to tweet that right I'll now. I'll tweet it. Also, let's check in on Rat Dick's fucking Black Lives Matter post, yeah, dude. Bro, let's see. We got Rat Dick doing some social justice work for us right now. Oh, is, is he Is he on that? He's train? not doing it, dude. He's not fucking doing it. We're looking at his Instagram right now. There's no black square. There's no message about him being sorry about masturbating in front of an unvetted, immature audience. <laughs> really not cool. So, Jay, yeah. nothing. you're eating McMuffins, and that's cutting down on the muffin you get. For sure. <laughs> it is. Well said, Leo. Thank you. Um, Jay, yeah, I think your general aesthetic right now, I think you could use a tune-up. I think all three of you guys would see your romantic prospects go through the roof mm. if you just put down the fucking processed grains and seed oils and sugar. Mm-hmm. I think all three of you. Yeah, no, I agree. But, however, I also think I want to be single. Right, it would be mm-hmm. great to be single. I don't want to be single. That's rough words, but mm-hmm. if I was single like you, I would be whoring out myself on every day. Mike, well, what was that well, deflection right there? Well, he's that? in a relationship. I'm in, oh, I'm in a serious he, committed he's, relationship. He's, he's, gained, gained, the the he's My, uh, gained the weight with the. I got a little bit of weight going. I got a two year old and another one on the way. Okay, you know, well, sure, you're you're doing. And, stuff. You know, I got you know. I got my shit handled, but I respect that. I respect that. You know, he's got it. He's, you know, he had sex at least twice. He did. You know, so he's I, taking a breather. Twice, and you know, he filled okay, up a girl okay. twice. He's retired, dude. He's fucking yeah. retired. Got, he's retired for the pussy game. Three three times. Man, rat I, pussy Pam. Yeah. Well, yeah, he did fill up rat pussy, too. He's so. a rat pussy Pam veteran, Jay. Man, I'll tell you, back in the high school like, days, being a senior, getting pussy. all the freshman pussy, man, I took... A lot of I mean, that could know, be technically 14, illegal depending on how 14, old you were. 14, 15, 16. You were 17, right? I was 17. Okay, yeah, yeah, but yeah, let's, yeah. let's specify yeah, that. Some days I live by a high school, you know, I, I drive oh, by, stop and, it, you know, dude. I have to exercise my uh, my tunnel vision. Right? Okay, uh, wow. Okay. Well, okay. very charming. I hope, uh, I hope uh, anyway, getting your, back to your baby mama, I hope yeah, she enjoys hopefully that. Hopefully, she doesn't listen to this shit. But so, uh, so that was a strange thing to say. So, when you were when you were a senior, sorry, no, but I'm saying when you were a senior, you played exclusively on freshman women. Exclusively, yeah, and I still oh, wow. still have some on my Instagram that I can oh, fall back on. They, they better be. No. They're they're twenty now. Sure, got it. Wanna, I get it. You don't want to go back. But, but they were historically no, they're, freshmen. They're not. Pussy, they're, they're not. Uh, they're not yeah. contemporary. Unfortunately, freshmen. yeah. The hole just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> no, I wish. I, I wish I still had some young pussy. My brother is eighteen. He's a senior, so. You know, he has parties at my dad's house, and there, right. there will be some. Uh, this is, anyway, uh, let's not, for your sake, let's not go down this jump. road. Anyway, yeah. why don't you just whore yourself out on dating apps and just, fu- you get some, you know, they might be threes and fours, but you don't got to tell your friends about it. Mike, know? are you going to be like up in a crawl space looking through a vent when your brother has a party? Oh, <laughs> it's worse than that, homeboy. What is it going to be? Oh. I'm, I'm the I'm the drunk older brother, you know, just, oh, no. yeah. Even worse than, oh, uh, than that. Yeah. Do you, I mean, fuck it, dude. Like, I could see. It's just. You know, it, are you being serious right I'm, now? God damn! <laughs> I, I, I'm not perving on no one. You know, it's just. Fuck. That's it, what I said. Yeah, you know? just like the looks of it. 
You're uh, just you're just looking through the shop displays. Yeah, it's great. You know, I, I like to be shop. around younger women. You just yeah. supply all it's the, the alcohol for the miners. No, it's great. His his girlfriend's like a cheerleader, so she brings around a bunch of uh. girls. Like, but I don't do like I I mean my girl comes around. Then, yeah. So like, but you know, female energy is well, great to be yeah, around. Yeah, no, what you said was perfectly normal, perfectly healthy, as Adam Carolla would say on the Love Line show uh, back in the day. Perfectly fuck normal. Yeah. Perfectly Shout out Adam Carolla. Baby. Shout out Adam Carolla, baby. Wow. Oh, all right. Well, Jay, let's. Let's pretend that that conversation didn't happen. Yeah. For sure. So, Jay, I, I think, well, all of you, it's just, guys, any guy can fucking get laid as long as they get in shape and get their professional life together. It's really so simple. And it, you'll start getting laid once you just get in shape, man. It's just, it's chicks. Dude, being a chick, yeah, they can get any fucking swing and dick when they're in their 20s. You know, their whole life, really. Yeah. But the problem is their access to quality men dries up like a fucking creek in June in yeah. the Mojave, dude. Once it starts getting close to that 30th birthday, oh boy, oh yep. boy. Uh, the true. options start going away real fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whereas all three of you jack off schmoes, yeah. even you, Fez, you're almost 40. Fez, you could have a second 40. half of your life fucking renaissance. He looks good. Yeah, you looks could have a late life too. pussy renaissance, dude. It's never too late. Dude, Al Pacino just knocked a bitch up at what, 80 80, something? And she's 29? Yeah, hot too. Look at look at Fez. Look at Fez right there, because that is a 39-year-old virgin. And that could be you if you don't shape up. Yeah. I see. But Fez still got time. He still got time. You could be the Rodney Dangerfield of getting pussy. That is who you're gonna be. You know what that means, Fez? Probably not, but Rodney Dangerfield kind of his career basically started when he was in his forties. Yeah, mm-hmm. right now and you're su- you're selling aluminum siding right yeah. now. Sam Walton that's also where you formed Walmart. When you could be the like Louis C.K. too. Like anyway, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like, Ed, Henry you know, Ford. Henry Ford when he was forty, dude. Uh, that Morgan those? Freeman. I believe you. I believe you on those subjects. Morgan Freeman had his first like legit booking at like thirty eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not too late, Fez. I think yeah. your pussy renaissance is right around the corner. Definitely. But, Jay, you got to, the car gimmick, you got to get rid of it. You got to get rid of the car uh, gimmick. Hey, cars are awesome. Like, you know, the, you, no, but the you thing is, around. like I said earlier. But it's so I'm, part of his fucking identity. I know, that's what you I'm might saying. You might find a that's chick like, I've, I've been a car guy it. my entire life, and I, 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 I like to picture myself, well, not myself, but I like to see, like, my younger self back when he was, like, 12, when he loved cars just as much as I do right now. Mm-hmm. And I just want to tell your younger that. self to stay away from Mike. I say, just get on fucking Bumble right now and reel that shit up. Yeah. Okay. No, so I you, need to find, I, I'm a I'm, good Catholic man. I'm trying to find think a good Catholic. The problem man. is like chicks. I can't think of any hot chicks who have anything to do with cars other than like modeling at a car show, yeah. or they like a guy who drives a Porsche. I, yeah. I don't know any chicks who are like fucking gearheads. So I just think you're yeah. in the wrong niche to dedicate your. It's one thing to be super passionate and work in that industry. Yeah. I just don't like that you're telegraphing your hobby through your sense of dress. I guess that's a good point. You can't have a belt buckle that's a fucking seatbelt. You can't. Leo? If you want to get chicks, dude, you know, you sometimes you got to. You got to try to appeal to them a little bit with at least the way you dress or something. You know what Fair I mean? Fair enough. Although you could still probably get pussy if you were jacked and you you, you were dressed like this. So again, it goes back to you yeah. having the willpower to get off the, those egg McMuffins. Yeah. And so, to get on the treadmill. As to well. get on the treadmill. Yeah. Just go. Just just the good way to start for all anybody who's fat is just uphill walking on a treadmill. Mm-hmm. Do that for 30 minutes a day. Yeah. See what happens. What do you what's the closest you've come to getting some muffin? Uh. I had a girlfriend back in high school. Ooh. She was, I mean, it was kind of hilarious because, uh, I'm sorry, uh, because uh, it was it was such an unholy, uh, an unholy duo, you know. I was a I was a junior in high school, and she was a fucking freshman. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go, and, Mike. And, you perking up over there? That? And it was funny. <laughs> it was also funny because I was a Trump man, and she was a Hillary girl. Well, now she's a they MAGA country, and uh, now I'm borderline fascist <laughs> okay i'm gonna but, tell you this i'm gonna tell you this jay yeah you dodged a bullet no that's what i'm saying <laughs> you dodged a bullet yeah because i i mean i'm super I'm, I'm a very religious man i'm very catholic i go to mass every latin mass every uh, every sunday i like and that so, austin you're down with that shit huh? but but uh 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm Protestant, Baptist. But, Whatever, you know, dude. You guys got to fucking be yeah. allied guys, with anybody you can you fucking, get at this point. You Baptist, you, your freaking clergies are always like, oh, yeah, the, the gay people, yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm, that's I'm not. that's like the weird LA Oh, no, the, the Lutherans, huh? Lutheran, yeah, yeah, yeah. Methodist, stuff you know, like that. All Baptist, I'm saying, gay stuff don't but Catholic, really. Protestants, Jehovah's Witnesses, you know what? Even Wiccans. All of you should team together right now to fight off the atheist horde. Okay, yeah. you guys got to. I, I, dude, Austin, what are you fucking giving this guy sideways glances because he's a Catholic? Well, no, I was just saying I don't go to mass. embrace your brother, dude. Embrace no. your brother in Christ. No, I agree. Yeah. I think we should get the the Muslims and the Jews. You know, they no, they, the Jews will never. Actually, I'm gonna stop right there. Why well, does mean over an atheist? At least like cut that out. We, we, we <laughs> what about yeah. the Jews? What was that? What kind I mean, of what do you say? But no, but the with Muslims up until the Gaza thing, and I think. Yeah. No, it's definitely Muslims, too, who obviously are super anti-Israel right now. A lot of yeah. the people making the most noise are just atheist fucking college bitches sure. with a pottery degree. But for a while, Muslims were kind of like on Team Trump and going yeah. like hard against the the super progressive LGBTQ yeah, stuff. Yeah, for sure. But what were we saying, Jay? We but were anyway, talking about you saying, being a fascist. Oh, I'm saying this right now. Yeah, I Any chick who's ever canceled anybody is super left wing mm -hmm. and probably non binary. Yeah. So she would have, even if you just like entered her on a fucking uh, some rose petals you threw on the floor mm -hmm. one night, she probably would say you like raped her. Yeah. Like even if she, it was fully Very consensual. Good point. Like, is Fuck she, it. Yeah. But, but even then, the point I'm trying to make is that when I was with her, I was. Her atheism was kind of rubbing on to me, and uh, that period in between high school and my and right before the lockdowns, I had like a sort of one of those God moments where, like, I saw I was becoming somebody that God did not want me to be, mm. and then yeah, I made that person. change in my life mm. to really take my religion seriously yeah I, i'd say i'm all for dating christian girls love that and mm -hmm. i think asians too you can date a, sure. you can date a heathen asian because they conduct themselves basically like christians do you agree with that austin austin i know uh, he agrees i don't know yeah you agree you fucking anime weeb a lot fuck. of japanese people don't even think prostitution counts as cheating they have kind of weird morals when yeah but that's sex. a businessman who's like a couple days away from hanging himself that's they have skewed morals over there in Tokyo. They cheat a yeah, lot. That's, the Asians that's cheat, very true. Man. That's Dude, now that that is Asian chicks are super loyal. All what are you talking about? Asians cheat. Japanese like cheating is huge. Like chicks in Japan cheat all the time. Okay, I don't know too much about Japan, but I feel like most Asian couples I know are the most monogamous, low key people I've ever seen. In America, yeah, probably they're more Americanized here. All right, but. So Jay, yeah, you're going. You got to go Catholic girls now, for sure. Religious. So you just would you have sex out of wedlock, or would God not like that? No, I can't do that in good conscience. Hmm. Uh, okay, because so even a then, I mean, I, I don't want to. I mean, this. I don't. I don't mean to make myself a high sound. Make myself sound like a high value person because I really am not. But like, I don't want to. I don't want to give that much of myself. To somebody that I don't want to spend the rest of my life with, mm -hmm. if that makes any sense. What about soaking like a Mormon? There well, you, you see, the Mormons, they're kind of they're strange, but we asked a girl, we met a girl on a flight once, and she was super, super Christian or Catholic. Right. And we told her that we just filmed a video at BYU and we asked her about Joseph Smith. And we're like, uh, yeah, I wonder, I wonder where Joseph Smith is in the afterlife. She's like, he's probably burning in hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something I would say. She, yeah. she came alive. Where, who was it? Because Jesus said that you should live like a eunuch if you can. Did he specify specifically that one should wait until marriage to have sex? Or was yeah, that probably. Paul or one of those fucking imposters I who mean, came after? I mean, uh, the, the apostolic succession, mm -hmm. uh, are you, are you familiar with that? Yeah, I, I so yeah. that's the thing is like Jesus to me is like the Beatles, right? And everybody who came after Jesus is like the fucking monkeys. It's like shut up, dude. Yeah, I don't like the monkeys. <laughs> I don't like the monkeys at all. They had a lot I mean, of they, they had they had, they had <laughs> a movie. Freaking... I like their movie. It's just like like I hey, with the I when I read the Bible, I mostly just read the Gospels because yeah. everything else, it's like, dude, Paul, you fucking that is the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke. 
Yeah, John, Matthew, Mark, and, Luke, and John. Yeah. Like, and then that's, after that's that, what Acts, I said, right? Romans. That's what, isn't that what I said? What did I say? Uh, Paul. But Paul, Paul was the apostle. But Paul is uh, Paul's like Romans, right? Yeah, that's yeah, like right after the letter to the Oh, Romans. I guess, yeah, technically that's not the gospel. Yeah, I like, thought you meant the New Testament. Paul is a fucking bandwagon fan, dude. He's like, I mean, you he was hanging to be, out with the know? same Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were all homies with dude, Paul. Dude, I don't know. Paul, to me, is the guy who replaced Vince Neil and Motley Crue. It's like, get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Fair enough. But I mean, <laughs> but even then with the, well, that's a good point, though, because even then, Paul was only an apostle. He wasn't necessarily, I might be wrong. But I, he wasn't necessarily a part of the apostolic succession. I mean, it was uh, St. Peter who started that. Mm. Why can't uh, you be Catholic like me? I'm just going to repent, man. Well, yeah, I'm I mean, just... I do too. I mean, I have my... We, he, ma he masturbates furiously. Exactly. You, you have a lot of sins, yeah. you know? You already yeah. sin. I mean, I saw... It's funny. I saw a, an article that said, uh, like, because uh, I follow... It's funny. I, I I see sometimes on Instagram the the white supremacist uh, Instagrams that are also Catholic, and they and they were showing this data saying, "Oh, the Mexicans, you see them or the you follow and subscribe." To <laughs> you gotta feet. not follow my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was. I, they were uh, they were saying, "Oh, the Mexicans. They're so they're so fer they're like fifty times more fertile than white people, and uh -huh. they, we have to." fucking fix that or something uh -huh. and then that and then i thought and i, I thought about it and you I thought, shared it to your story that, no i did not share it to my story <laughs> uh, but but i thought like that's very true like you you never see like white like like white families with like eight kids it's always freaking like mexican families well, i don't think yeah. and they, they all the and they all freaking uh uh pack the entire family for people who are listening in, in case this podcast surfaces is audio only i just want to point out that jay is aggressively mexican aggressively very much because so. he sounds white and if you just heard this yeah. it would sound like the worst <laughs> thing ever and guys he looks like a guy that was in apocalypto and then might have gotten his head chopped off but, in the sack i but, second but that. i will say this it's actually it's super interesting everybody talks about that how the people who should be having the most kids yeah. don't. Yeah. And the people who can't afford kids and who are on government assistance just shit out broods. Yeah. And it was actually, it's a weird paradox in humanity. It's one of the reasons the Roman Empire fell. Yeah. Is that the more wealthy an, a society becomes, the lower their birth rate goes. Mm -hmm. Because once you have wealth and you don't have to work 16 hours a day to support yourself... Then you start, you know, going to the gladiatorial games. Yeah. You take a mistress. You learn about the pleasures of anal sex. Mm -hmm. And you start thinking like, fuck kids. Yeah. And you, you start delaying when you start a family. Yeah. Contraception comes around so you can keep slinging dick. And birth rates plummet. And then barbarian hordes. It was the filthy Germans who fucked up the Roman Empire. It, yeah. wasn't, it wasn't anybody of dark skin. The fucking barbarians came in and just started reproducing like goddamn rabbits. Yeah. And they started doing that's gay what stuff. happens. They started doing gay shit too, dude. And that's another telltale sign of a fallen uh, society, you know. Is gay shit? Perhaps, yeah. This well, is, Danny, this is... did you hear this statistic? It was like um in South Korea, if you take a hundred South Koreans, by the time you get to their great great grandchildren, there's only going to be six South Koreans. Wait, wait. To say give me that again. Take a hundred South Koreans, and yep. by the time you get to their great great grandchildren, their population that one hundred reduces down to six people. Okay. That yeah, yeah, I've never heard it put that way, but I mean what would that be but, in the United States? But if you took a hundred Americans, what would it be? Uh it would maybe be like sixty or something. Like the birth rate in South Korea is like the worst in the world. Yeah, yeah. it just yeah. once we no, get in, rich, in everybody Asian just countries. wants to party and not start a family. Especially Japan. The Elon birth Musk rate has 10 is kids. going way down. Elon Musk does it like a warlord <laughs> of the ancient times. <laughs> yeah. I, I was listening to a Ty Lopez. I said it to you. Yeah. I kind of back Ty Lopez. I was listening to him on a podcast and he just has he won't admit to it, but you can read between the lines. And Ty Lopez just has a ton of kids with a bunch of bitches. <laughs> because yeah. he's like, you know, marriage, marriage is an institution invented about 2,000 years ago, maybe 5,000 years ago. Humans have been around in our present form for hundreds of thousands of years, man. This is not always how evolution has worked. So his thing is, he's got the money just to keep like five broads happy and have kids with all of them. Jesus. That's freaking crazy. Yeah, dude. That, that's, I think that's, Elon's that's repping backwards. the same thing, dude. That's back. I'm not saying I agree with him, but that's definitely Elon's mode. Elon's yeah. got Grimes like on the rotation. Yeah. One of his top AI scientists at uh, Starlink or Neuralink, mm -hmm. he just like has surrogate children with her. 
Mm-hmm. He fucking knocks up probably, you know, receptionists and I mean, they, they're probably not smart enough, you know, engineers. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have a harem, keep them all together in one place. <laughs> yeah. And they're, they're getting, some maybe, of them can maybe escape. Austin, you could, uh, look into Islam. I, I'm pretty sure they, uh, permit that. In, they do. They do. Yeah. Fez sort could of. be your eunuch. <laughs> you got to chop his dick off and he's got to guard the bitches. I think with Islam, it's like if Fez would be a great eunuch, dude. Fez would do such a good job of guarding a horror, Leo. Yeah, he's already asexual. I mean, he would just be like, no, do not touch. No. no. <laughs> I think Rat Dick would do it for the boys. He would just cut his nuts off for the content. Yeah, he would. He would. I, don't I think know if he'd be a better off or worse off. It might make him more like, like when Brando, my little kitty, got his nuts off. Now he's like a really dedicated hunter. What if Rat Dick became like a very dedicated streamer? We, we took Rat you would, Dick. You to would find really all of the girls in the harm strangled. Exactly. They would all be strangled one morning. Continue though. I'm sorry, Austin. Continue. No, I'm just saying we could we take Rat Dick to like a really fucked up veterinarian who's willing to just cut his balls off like a dog, dude, for the channel. I, you know, sometimes moral questions are complex, and I really think that that might tilt toward a net good. If we chopped off Rat Dick's balls. At the very least, you could pay him. We could probably pay him to get a vasectomy right. on, a, on a video. That'd be good, yeah. You know, 20 take, bucks. Take him to Mexico. Bucks. Is that how yeah. much they cost? In Mexico, you know, you a vasectomy can... is probably 150 bucks. Well, we'd shout out That's the doctor's expensive. office. That It'd be a brand deal. To me. You think it'd be less than 150 bucks? What do you think an American doctor does in a, a vasectomy for? Yeah. Well, let's Google it. I don't Austin. know. It's That's... good for some of our fans out there. You know, If you wanted to be thinking about getting a vasectomy, how much is a vasectomy? Cock and ball torture is free. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Fuck. Well, it's, I'm going to see Austin tackle the word vasectomy. He's got it. Not bad, dude. Well, he had one false start with the letter E after V. How much will a vasectomy cost? Between zero and a thousand. It's pretty cheap. Well, let's see. I mean, zero that's a thousand. That's got to be one. I'm assuming that Including. means medical care or some sort of uh, health insurance plan. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure the, it's free I'm sure for the migrants. state would probably. Yeah. It probably. Is. I'm sure the state would happily uh, subsidize some, something. Mike, are like you that. Mexican too? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm part Mexican. Are you actually on my mom's side? Hmm. Is that true? You look yeah, like you a got a bit. splash a of Latino. Okay. There's probably a little bit in there. You know. You probably are right though. Like yeah. there are. I forget how many it is. There's tens of thousands of illegal immigrants who get fully covered health insurance in California. Yeah. It's well, atrocious. it says Obamacare takes care of uh, it. It must cover birth control, and that technically is is birth control. Oh. It's just male yeah. birth control, so you can get a vasectomy for free. Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, I did watch a TikTok recently where this guy in New York, he's like my age, basically, was saying that he's been in a hotel. A, a nice one for seven months, getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. It's so much money. I mean, think about that. That's like, if we were doing that, Danny, it would be $200 on the low side a day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, for 100 days, that'd be $200,000. See, I can do math. For one Bam. person. <laughs> Be a mathematician. Dude. That'll get I you to a, a mathematician. That'll get you to I a was a music bag, major. For 100 days, reason. I might be 20,000. But Okay. So yeah, this is interesting. I... Shout out to Abbott, who started busing migrants up to the, the more liberal cities. Oh, yeah. And I love just, oh, they're political pods. It's political stunts. disgusting. Well, it fucking worked. It definitely made this a national conversation. And now yeah. Biden's numbers are plummeting in the polls. And I'm going to say this, dude. I um, It just hit me last night. I was just like, dude, Trump is a fucking legend, dude. I fucking love Trump, man. Dude, I watched the clip where Trump was talking. I, I think it's the one that Shane Gillis made immortal by, <laughs> by doing the impression at the end of his special. Yeah. But Donald Trump was talking about this terrorist head honcho, like fleeing the U.S. Marines that were pursuing. He's like, he cried and begged for his life. Like a little baby the entire time. He died like a dog. It was he Soleimani when, a he, beautiful when he blew dog. up Soleimani. And then fucking you see Biden, all these people are like, you're supporting genocide, heckling his speeches. And he's like, they're, they're passionate. I said, they're passionate. I support their passion. Trump, somebody heckles him. He's like, go back to your mommy. <laughs> <laughs> go back to mommy. <laughs> Dude, he's all timer. Like, yeah. he, whatever you think about his politics, the guy, him, 
Donald Trump is a fucking legend. Yeah. Okay? He's fucking That's the main based, reason why man. he needs to be president him. again. It's just because like his story arc isn't over yet. Like there's so much more epic shit yeah. we can We need that could we need the years. Trump redemption <laughs> arc, dude. We, we need dude, it just with all this shit popping off in the Middle East, we can't have they're passionate. The people are passionate. We gotta have like he he wept and cried like a little baby the entire time, and he died like a dog. Dude, think about like the fucking the Sultan of Iran. Like, you think you want that? You want to fuck with that guy? Like we saw how it worked out for Saddam Hussein, dude. Like we come to your front door and we fucking tie a rope around your neck, dude. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I'm not advocating the Iraq War. I don't think that was fucking good. <laughs> But Donald Trump's the kind of that'll be Iraq. It'll be fucking yeah. Iran, dude. Well, it'll be Operation Iranian Freedom. Yeah, see, what'll happen under Trump is that uh, when he gets to the world stage and starts talking about World War Three, he's just gonna be like, World War Three, World War Three <laughs> might not be a really good war. I don't want to fight it, and if you do fight it, you're fucking gay. I don't make the rules, <laughs> and then and then it's just gonna be world peace. Yeah, because. Why would you want to fight a world war if I it's mean, fucking his credit, Any no Iranian no proxies who act boldly and take advantage of American troops deployed overseas are fucking homos. They're homos. <laughs> and I, I'm not, I love gay people. I'm not, a, I'm not a homophobic man, but I will kill you. <laughs> we you will use all resources at our disposal to kill the gay Iranian proxies. Dude, it was one of the most gangster things when he just sent him a picture of his house. <laughs> Who did he send that to? I think Soleimani. Damn, damn, dude, <laughs> man, dude, yeah. And then when I Kim Jong Un wait, was dude. was getting a little uppity over there, and Kim Jong Un was, was like, awesome. "We have a bigger button. That was the mine best. works. My <laughs> nuclear button, dude, fucking that was legend, crazy, dude. dude, man." And then he I fucking he wait. whipped that bitch. It's like when a dog is shitting and pissing all over your carpet. You can't be like, no, no, Snowflake. You got to whack Snowflake on the fucking head. Yeah. And that's and what happened? Kim Jong-un was an obedient dog after that. They met yeah. in the they met on the demilitarized zone and they shook hands. They yeah. shook hands. In Singapore, yeah. He's the only guy. He's, Trump's the only guy who got that motherfucker to shape up. And now the we, South Korean guy actually did the same thing after Trump did it. The, the head of South Korea went over the line and shook hands with him, too. Fuck mm. yeah, dude. A demilitarized zone. You can't help. Yeah, I, I mean, it can't can't hurt, man. I think we should send Fez to North Korea. That'd be a good dietary plan for you. Dude, he could pass as, like, <laughs> one of his nephews or something. Yeah, you could, dude. He, he could pass as the Pakistani uh, immigrant to, to South Korea, and then he accidentally gets trafficked to, to North Korea. Are you following that, Fez? I don't know what he's talking about. He's either. already almost been trafficked as a, as a child. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's funny. Experience. I was standing outside, and it was raining, and I'm like, am I going to get trafficked? Yeah. And yeah, now that you bring it up, fucking still can. Ah, my perfect. schedule's clear for the rest of the night. A virgin, bro. That's a virgin. Day. You can you make us a lot of money on the black market. Okay. Only if I get a share. Some Saudi would want you to take a <laughs> shit on his chest. I, 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 I want the virgin boy, Mexican boy. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a gay Saudi Somebody out there that looks like me, but is not like me. You know, yeah, you know. really are a Mexican virgin, Jay Leno. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> you really like that is your fucking identity. I mean, dude. I mean, Jay Leno only married one lady, and yes, he, has, he did. And and he's like, I don't need I mistresses. It. I have all my cars. He's got a great life. One he's of the nicest celebrities like to meet me. in person. If you ever see him, just go up to him. He's the nicest guy. No, of all I, time. I, his I wife's him. got dementia. Resp um, yeah. our our sympathies yeah, go out God to Jay Leno. And wife yeah but jay is i've heard he's that yeah Adam he's nice, no bro. he's a very he's a very nice man Dude, i met him nice. at a car show oh in wow 2019 nice and he, and he was like i was like i'm a big fan of your youtube show mr leno and he's like oh thank you thank you very much <laughs> yeah, and i got he, he he i took a picture with him and it was great i met him at a motorcycle show i had a, a, a dirt bike i built there and he oh, was there and, and he talked to me like he like he knew me like he was a friend and yeah wow. looked at my bike and was like oh that's cool yeah. But it was yeah. three yeah, of yeah, the yeah. five people. I heard about your antics with that that uh, rap yeah. pussy fam. Yeah, I heard great, about that. He's a great guy. I hope <laughs> one of my dreams is uh, before before he dies because I know he's an older man. But I really want to restore my car and then to like show up at a show that he just so happens to be at, and he'll be like, "Oh, that's a really nice car." Like, yeah, I want to see his rat cock. Let's let's. <laughs> why don't you come on the show? Yeah, we'll see a car. Because he does that, like he he has like a little mini series, like oh, welcome to the Jay Leno show. This is a car that I found on the street, and yeah. I asked the owner if we could film it, and here it is. Y yeah, I yeah. would. 
And I mean, I'm, I'm you sound like, a little bit like Pete Davidson too. You can, you can oh, yeah. There. yeah. I've always thought about getting into voice acting as well. Yeah. I've, I've been told I'm very good. At yeah. Yeah. Voices. You're pretty good. I, I, think you, I think you killed it in impressions. So Jay Leno, um, I think you go to Jay Leno's doorstep and I think you're like, Hey, you know, that shit about the fandom. I just didn't have the courage to say that I'm your illegitimate son. Uh-huh. <laughs> with the maid dude yep with you're maybe. the maid illegitimate Guadalupe. Son, I mean now that his wife's got dementia that's one less person you have to swindle or, or convince that you're actually related yeah what would you do to work at like a west coast customs ah fuck west coast customs they fucking ruined <laughs> the only good I'm build thinking, wait, they, wait, wait, actually sure. unironically the only cool build they ever did was the Bravado Banshee in real life. If you don't know, the Bravado Banshee is the GTA. Dodge Viper equivalent in GTA 5. And I thought that was an excellent build. Other than that, they ruined a fucking DeLorean. You don't ruin DeLoreans. You restore yeah. those. Yeah, the DeLoreans. You know? I love the DeLoreans. What do you know about the DeLoreans? Oh, my God. I wish I could make this up. So John DeLorean was a... Uh, he was a uh, automotive executive at General Motors. Mm. and They so- ostracized him. Yeah, they they didn't like him because he was he was one of those rebel guys. He was on magazines. He was uh, Austin. If you can pull it up, look up the picture of uh, uh, John DeLorean uh, lifting weights. He's a fucking Chad. I I look up to him massively. He's still alive? No, he died in 06. Unfortunately, he he likes cocaine, too. Yeah, that that uh, the reason why they stopped they stopped liking him is because uh, uh, the Pontiac GTO, the original car was his idea. He he basically invented the muscle car. With the slant six? Uh no, that's that's Chrysler. That's a Chrysler okay. engine. But uh he uh he basically invented the muscle car when right, he proposed. Cut the him idea. Off. I took a full pee and nobody cut him off while well, he was well, rambling hear about a little DeLorean. bit about John DeLorean, dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck John DeLorean. Nah, John DeLorean's great. <laughs> I know. I'm just, I, I mean, take a look. He, he's I a fucking be, chad. Yeah, you should take a page out of his book and get yeah, in shape. Get in exactly. Shape. That's I wish I had the money for it. I, it I'm doesn't too require busy. money. No, that those are fucking excuses. Why is Jeff Bezos shredded? Yeah, he's got money, but he's <laughs> got no free time. There are so many ripped people who are more busy than you. you just dial in. Fair your, enough. Dude, you can just dial in your 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 diet and already yeah. and you, you need to work out two days a week, dude. And then you'd already make a huge change. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he needs to get in shape for the chick he's pursuing. You can get away. The church that I volunteer at to have to feed the homeless is just loaded with hot Christian chicks. Oh, yeah. And it's like, um, I sometimes, I fantasized about one of the chicks I was volunteering with. Okay. Lee, Austin, I guess you're the guy to ask about this. Do, um, do devout Christian women who volunteer at homeless shelters ever fall into temptation? Oh, yes. Dude, I mean... Yeah, probably. I mean, we even know that one porn chick, Anal Princess, she literally just started blowing one of the homeless guys she was working with. Yeah, but she's not Christian. Yeah, I guess so, but... It's very different. Uh, uh, Like a left-wing radical chick who's helping the homeless is a completely different animal than a Christian girl. Depends on how Christian, really, though, because a lot of girls just yeah, call themselves Christian. Catholic women. They go to church. Stuff. These chicks all go to church. Yeah. Dude, I mean, I've met some wild chicks at church that go every single week. Hell yeah. First time dude. I fingered a girl was at church camp on God. Every time I would go to church well, camp, it was I would a couple find months a ago. To, like, make out with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was sixth grade, you know, church camp. But. I got to check with you. I just want to make sure the age gaps are always. Yeah, he was a counselor, like, working. Yeah. Oh. Sure. <laughs> or his brother was a counselor and he yeah, snuck but... in. It's, dude, I, I think. Um, I think everyone's human and you're probably going to get lucky at, at some point with a Christian chick. It's really probably. hard actually to find a Christian chick who is serious enough about her Christianity. I to think like care like someone like O'Neill's girlfriend who like won't have sex with him. Mm-hmm. That's kind of a hard chick to find. Really, it has nothing. You to have do to go. You have to find that kind of woman. You have to go to the uh, the Latin mass. If you're well, not don't go there, then if you're not getting pussy there, don't go there. Yeah, because you're not <laughs> getting pussy, period, <laughs> is kidding. what I'm saying. But but uh, those women are like... Where's the Latin mess? Uh, the one I go to is in Wilmington. It's uh, St. Peter and Paul. It's a beautiful church, beautiful What mass. race are most of the people there? Uh, white or, and or Mexican. Hot young chicks? Yeah, I'm a lot sure. of young people go wow. to... Wow. Uh, you would be surprised. A, a lot of young people my Can we start age, doing church crashing, was, Leo? It's like wedding crashers, dude. but church crashing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, there are some chicks 
in Malibu that go to those churches oh, that out sounds there un- that yeah, are because hot and rich. Bro. Pepperdine's a Catholic school or a Christian church, school, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Mosaic, dude. School. I wonder, is Mosaic, Mosaic was the one in Hollywood that, that Bieber used to go to and shit. I heard that was crazy. Yeah, that sounds dope. I mean, I honestly, for all the shit I'm talking right now and joking, absolutely when I settle down, it's going to be a fucking Asian girl who's a professional or it's going to be like a, a Christian chick. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably an Asian professional though. That's where this is leaning. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. That'd be the only girl I'd get serious. Because the with. Christian chick would be like, you know, I, I I was watching some of your old content, and there's this guy, Pratik Ralph. Why did you turn him to Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> why would you not why bring Jesus you, into his you, life? Why did you? He started. I think that was a six, a six, and another six. He crafted with his poop on the wall. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I most Christian girls though now, like I was. There was a, a young black couple that would that go to the church and were volunteering at the homeless shelter I'm at. And like they were just talking about old animation from the 90s. And I brought up Disney and they just fucking freaked out. There's like, really? fuck Disney, fucking bullshit. It's so not good. like if you again, this is what I was saying earlier, like the fucking oh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And that's how it works with like. So I feel like because I'm the enemy of people that a lot of Christians and Catholics would really hate, they become my friend, even if I'm not really, like, by the fucking spirit. Yeah. No, yeah. Also, you could always I mean, claim that you're born again, right? Yeah. And then you could just... I you mean, can I, mean I, have, I have plenty of non-Catholic, non-Christian friends, and, like, yeah, I'll, I'm, not, I'm not an evangelist. I don't seek to evangelize. It's very difficult. And, uh, yeah, but, but what I'm saying is... I'll I'll speak my views and they'll say, oh, interesting. And then they'll speak their views and mm-hmm. I don't respect them any less for it. You know, mm-hmm. it's, you know, I think I made a, a little dent in your armor with my like Paul is the monkeys argument though. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I, I still respect you, Danny. Well, You're... see, that's condescending. You don't agree with me. I want you to agree. <laughs> I mean, I'm joking. I, I, I forget if I talked about this on here or on the Patreon pod or my Patreon live stream. But I read about what the early, the real fucking hardcore people were the early Christian church yeah. when they were fucking rolling the dice before. Not only was it yeah. not cool before but, the before the the rise of Constantine. Exactly. That was probably the go- the most godless age of of Earth right behind today. So the most gnarly time to be a fucking Christian, the most like gnarly time to be anything was a Christian between Jesus and Constantine Mm. because the Roman authorities would go around rounding up Christians and they'd be like, all right, who is your allegiance to (laughs) the emperor or Jesus, Jesus. And if you say the emperor, you could walk right out that door. But if you say Jesus, and here's the thing, some people denounced their faith, but Jesus in the Gospels makes such a big deal about not doing that yeah. that like 80% of them would not praise the emperor and were like, I'm a Christian, do whatever you want to me. The shit the Romans did, they would put women who were Christians in burlap sacks and throw them into an arena with bulls. That Come was one on. thing. Jesus Christ. Uh, they took another guy, they tied a bunch of ropes to his neck and to his arms and to his legs, and they lowered him onto a white hot chair, an iron chair, and just let him cook on the chair. That is the most horrific I've ever heard. It was the most depraved methods of torture. And all these people could have just walked free if they just were like, no, I love Caesar, I'm not a Christian, and then just apologize to God like two seconds later. The, the Leo de Tavio yeah, method. method. They will see... Look what happened to Rome. It was it was payback time. Are, wait, are you saying? Oh, you're saying God? Yeah, destroyed Rome's Rome. gone. What would you have done, Jay? If fucking I mean, if a centurion rounded you up and was like Caesar or Jesus, what would you have done? Honestly, buddy, the white hot chair. You're looking at the white hot chair. I'm I'm not the strongest man in the world. All right. I see where I, you're going. I, I have. You don't have to say I it. I have the. I have the fingers crossed. Okay. Well, after I you can't... say y- y- your allegiance to Caesar, because that's what you do, would you then ask for like a gig, dude, being like a little squire boy for one of these guys, or would you at least, you know, go back to your old ways? I mean, it's it's difficult to say because especially, like, it's because Christianity is so prevalent now. And 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 there's so many Christians now that that just 
you know, kind of go with the world. But the goal is to is to be in union with Christ in the kingdom of God after life. So even though I say right now in front of you that I have my fingers crossed and I'll say, oh, yeah, Heil Caesar, you know. But, uh, like, on second thought, perhaps I will. I'll, I'll cast Caesar aside for Christ. And take the iron chair. Perhaps. Especially if you think they might just kill you anyways. No, they wouldn't. They would just let everybody go. That was the thing. That's why it was so fucked up. It's like you could just walk out the door. Yeah. Damn. Because it's almost because like the other difficult the... thing is that uh, I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I'm not sure. I need to study up on this. But I don't know if uh, like the reconciliation was really invented yet. I. I think it was. None of that matters, dude. So if they gave you five seconds, denounce your faith or fucking get I in the cage. Well, You're not when you put it, well, faith. when you put it like that, I'm not going to denounce my faith. Okay, good. But uh, what if they what if they said suck a dick? Suck a dick. Suck or... a dick or face the chair. <laughs> well, how much money are we talking? No, no, no. no the life or death. Like suck the dick or die. The white hot chair, bro. No, I'd rather die. Damn. Suck a dick? Damn, so that's so disgusting. So sucking a dick takes priority over your faith. I don't believe you, dude. <laughs> in this world of modern conveniences where you've got fucking 24 Well, hour in porn, modern convenience. Where you can postmates an egg McMuffin to your fat mouth. I'm yeah, sorry, Jay. I, I don't. I, there's no way you would not suck a dick to stay alive another day. I mean, if they were just going to shoot me, that's no. not that bad. But the white hot chair, I think that's, that's so fucking gross. I, dude, you, everybody, you would have a dick lodged deeper down your throat than <laughs> rat pussy Pam if uh, a guy gave you the fucking choice. That's Live so deep, dude. And suck or fucking don't and die. But what are you living for? Like, you know, another thing. Austin, years? I, I don't believe you. It's not I, like we're immortal. Austin, until you quit weed cold turkey for six yeah. months, I do not think you have the willpower to turn down sucking a dick to live. I don't think so. Austin would be good at that shit. Dude. I was just trying to go cold turkey on weed right now. Until you last six months, Austin, you would take the dick. I have Aust taken like I've taken like three hits of weed since January first. But but then you, that's, you also that's not cold turkey. Don't you hit a tab a dab every day, a weed dab? Nah, because like during uh, during January I was dabbing, but I stopped that. So now I'm like off of everything. But every once in a while at night, I'll take like one hit. That's not cold turkey. I didn't say I was going Dude, cold turkey, uh, though. Austin. There's no way you stop after one hit, either. No, it's true. You can ask all the roommates. Austin, you'd have two balls nestled under your chin before you could say abracadabra, did. <laughs> or I guess one bowl that we'd share. Maybe I hit it twice. But yeah. Austin, you would suck so much dick to live, dude. <laughs> dude, I don't about? know, man. I don't value... Like, you could just get in a car accident at any point. Living ain't really that, like... What you it's more like torture. Fuck, I'd be more dude. afraid of being tortured in the pain than I would just dying. You know what I mean? I'm telling you right now, dude. When I went to jail, I was going to bring it back to my jail, dude. And they were like, <laughs> hey, dude, you can either you're going to either stay in here for three years or a random cellmate's going to fuck you up the ass. I'd be like, as long as he's got a fucking condom on, lube him up. Lube him up, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. Leo, you do the same. You I mean, it's guy not like you over. were... It'd be gay not to, honestly. Three years out of jail? I mean, fuck, dude. You dude, did three just years? I watched The Sopranos, and, like, dude, they were all... In three-year jail stints, they were doing gay shit six months in. As long as they didn't do six... But before six months before they were let out, as long as they didn't do any gay shit, they didn't even care. So if, if it was cool in The Sopranos, I don't know why I can't do it. I'll you know say this. <laughs> if, if you would not get fucked in the ass to avoid three years in jail, I probably will listen to your argument and respect it. But anything more than 10 years and you still won't get fucked in the ass to avoid 10 plus years, you're an idiot. Like you're just wasting percentage of your life. Vast I guess. swaths when, of your when life. You, when you put it like that. It's almost gayer not to take the dick in the ass because you're going to get way less pussy if you don't take a dick in the ass. Yeah, you, know you, you enjoy hanging out with fucking dudes for 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> you have to believe that. <laughs> you're going to have to believe that, Austin. Sorry. Yeah, I, got, I, got it. Had, I knew I was going to have to ask him to believe ah, that, damn but it. I just wanted to say it. Anyway, we've been going for a while. We should probably get a. Uh, we should probably try to to squash this podcast so then the, the we can move on from this rat dick drama. You know what I mean? It's been heavy. Call rat me. pussy again. We got a fucking. We, I do not think rat dick has posted a black square. No, he hasn't. And he told me, but RPP told me it's it's because she's not turning on the Wi Fi. She doesn't trust that he. He's on a streaming fucking like fee, he's fiending to stream. He just wants to go on stream Damn. and put shit on his face. It really was the BBC, Leo. Yeah, obviously, dude. He oh. lost his mind, man. When you see something like that, 
Leo, I will say you did an excellent job, masterful job navigating the drama we got in here today. You did a good Thanks, job. Man. You were very good with them on the phone too. I tried. You, um, I like you. You you didn't let your. You reminded Ratik constantly about the big black hawk down his girlfriend's throat. I know. And it made me smile. I appreciate you, <laughs> It made me smile. Ratik has you. a hard time separating the fans that genuinely like, like him right. and people that are just actively trying to lull cow him into like destroying his life. Yeah. On yeah. camera. Yeah, you're right. Like one of his biggest fans is actually Trace Cyrus. And he, he wrote a horrific message Trace to Trace. Cyrus. Yeah, Trace yeah. Cyrus is a huge oh, fan of Ratik. Who's Trace, Trace Cyrus, Cyrus is Miley's brother. Miley, Miley, uh, Miley, Miley, oh, Miley, Miley won some Cyrus shit last night, right? Brother. Yeah, Tra- uh. he's the guy that Danny hung out with him in Nashville. Dude, Trace is a huge fan. Miley might know about us. Miley won a something that's, that's Grammy, that's Grammy last cool. night. She won, she won a Grammy. Yeah. She won something last night. Probably anyway, for flowers. Dude, Trace yeah, is a huge Ratic fan. Song. Huge Ratic fan. Hey, for years. I wouldn't know that song. Fucking the the Trace the Cyrus family is sacred in this room. So shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, dude. That was a deep cut, Fez. You was like, how did you even know who that was? What? Metro Station. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, Fez, would you... Shake, to, to avoid... Shake, 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 to shake, Fez, to, shake, avoid, shake. to avoid 10 years in jail, would you suck Trey Cyrus' dick? No. Shans him. Come on, man. Even yeah. I don't care if he's handsome. He's super cool. I, I, hung DSL, out. Him and I hung out. Dude. We, 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 you know, we scoured the town. Word on the street is you got a DSL, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tell, tell you know what DSL is? He's, he's tall. He's, he's okay, he's tall. He's got tattoos. You know what DSL is, Fess? You got dick sucking lips. Uh, <laughs> that's, right. that's right. That's the Whoa. first thing Trey said to me when I met him in Nashville. He's like, that, he's like you know, man, that guy, you guys got Fez? Fez yeah. Yeah, DSL. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> he, told, he, told, I think he told me to borrow your mouth. Whatever. Yeah. I said that we will rent out Fez's mouth like an Airbnb. Oh, yeah. Uh, like a fucking, <laughs> like a cheap Verbo in Modesto. <laughs> and on that note, I think it's time to say goodbye. We shall see you next week. This has been an, an episode. A wild episode. Really good. A wild Dude. episode. We'll, we'll, I just got here. I'm sure a lot will develop in the world mm-hmm. of Rat Dick Ralph between mm-hmm. now and next Tuesday, too. So Yeah, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. Yeah. I'm going to try to get a taste of that asshole this week. Oh, it's a good God. time to strike. Might be the second time he would get a taste of that asshole. Yeah, that, well, there was a few times that day. Oh, you know, I, I can man. get very descriptive about that day. Oh. It never the left my mind. Yeah, oh, enjoy man. the Patreon pod. <laughs>